In the final, the one seed, UConn, was taken on the three seed, Illinois Fighting Illini, and the UConn Huskies took care of business 77 to 52. Just a massive win for the Huskies on the back of a 30 to 0 run in the middle of that game, spanning the end of the first half through the start of the second half. Just a truly incredible uh, performance here by UConn the last two years in the tournament, and now they advance to Phoenix and they play. The winner of the West Region, and that was the four seed Alabama Crimson Tide, as they defeated the six seed Clemson Tigers 89 to 82. And so you'll have the one seed from the East, UConn, taking on the four seed from the West, Alabama, next week in Phoenix as part of the Final Four. And then over in the South Region, the game that'll be played after today's Purdue versus Tennessee game, you have the four seed Duke Blue Devils taking on the 11 seed North Carolina State Wolfpack the Wolfpack the Cinderella of this tournament the highest seed to make it to this point a team that won five consecutive games in the ACC tournament to be able to win that conference tournament get themselves the automatic bid get themselves in the tournament they would not have been in the tournament likely without being able to win their conference tournament and here they are now they're playing a ACC conference rival the Duke Blue Devils with a chance to go to the Final Four and that game will be on CBS later on today tip off around 505 the winner will play the winner of Purdue and Tennessee when we return to the pregame show we will have Coach Painter's pregame comments presented by Purdue Federal Credit Union this is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield Hey Purdue fans Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. Domino's Mix and Match menu has items for every occasion. Flaked on your friend's open mic night? Flaky bread twists and molten lava cakes should do the trick. Soccer team duty? Medium two-topping pizzas and stuffed cheesy bread are your best defense. Is it your dog's half birthday? <laughs> Celebrate his biggish day with savory sandwiches and tender specialty chicken. Mix and match two or more items for $6.99 each at Domino's. Ask for this offer two-item minimum prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Bone and wings, bread bowl, pasta, and pan pizza will cost extra. Local stores have delivery fees and can charge extra for some menu items. You work hard, and at First Farmers Bank and Trust, we work hard for you. Since 1885, we've committed to helping families, businesses, and communities thrive financially, from home to the office, to the field, to the arena. We value hard work and per at ffbt.com. First Farmers is a proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Member FDIC, equal opportunity lender. Talking on the phone is difficult if you've been exposed to loud noises over time. Combat veterans, factory workers, farmers, gun and motorcycle enthusiasts can have trouble hearing on the telephone. Relay Indiana helps return clarity to your phone conversations. Relay Indiana also provides free loaned equipment to those who qualify. Get the CapTel Caption Telephone from Relay Indiana. Visit RelayIndiana.com now. Water damage from a busted pipe can be a real nightmare in these frigid temps. For over 40 years, Hayes & Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So, when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes & Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesAndSons.com for more information. Welcome back to Little Caesars Arena, everyone, and a happy Easter Sunday to you. 
Purdue and Tennessee today here in an Elite Eight battle. Time to talk to Purdue head coach Matt Painter, get his thoughts on this one. Coach Painter's pregame comments brought to you by Purdue Federal Credit Union. Purdue Federal Credit Union, proud to be the official credit union for Purdue fans. Discover the credit union difference at PurdueFed.com. Coach, a quick revisit to the win against Gonzaga Friday night. Yes, your team shot the ball well, but you also won the rebound battle by seven, and you held the turnover number to nine. And as you've been telling us all year, when you do those two things, you're a pretty good team. Yeah, you know, if we can win the possession battle, we've put ourselves in great position um, all season. But I, I thought our guys <clears throat> did some really good things. I thought we were in a better position at halftime um, than the score indicated, you know, Graham I.K. had then made, you know, two threes there. You know, we, we had missed some free throws. We thought we'd had some opportunities that um, we let squandered. Our communication in transition was poor a couple times where we just gave up baskets. So we thought if we could, you know, make more free throws, keep competing, you know, along the lines of taking care of the basketball, just, just keep doing those things, we felt like we were going to have a better second half, and we did. You know, when we talked Friday night for this segment, I mentioned uh, back to the game in November against Gonzaga and, and quite frankly how poorly Purdue had played offensively yet still found a way to win. Well, a little bit of the same refrain here against Tennessee. I look back at that box score from November the 21st, 16 turnovers for Purdue, yet still found a way to win. Yeah, you know, missed some free throws. You know, we had some, some opportunities at the rim um, that we didn't finish. Um, we turned the basketball over. So I always talk about that stat line, right? You know, um, you know, we are 6-4 and four when we have more than 13 turnovers. So there has been some games in there where we've turned it over more than 13 times and still beat quality opponents, which is a good sign. But I'd rather not do it. But Tennessee is one of those games. But, you know, just a great coach. Um, I compared him to Coach K the other day just in terms of the tenacity, the toughness, the way they defend. Um, like I'd always talk about our practices. Like when we played, like the games were a day off. You know, because, you know, you had those kind of competitive, tough, hard-nosed practices um, where you felt like you had to have pads on. Um, but, like, you know, you, you got to be able to play against them and take care of the basketball and be able to do simple things. They make you look foolish at times trying to do simple things. Well, Tennessee is known for its defense, and uh, you just alluded to it, especially when Rick Barnes is, uh, is your head coach. But they have added one superstar on offense this year, the transfer from northern Colorado, Dalton Connect. Uh, without question, one of the best players in the country. Oh, he can single-handedly, you know, win a game for you. You know, he, he is that dynamic of a scorer, that dynamic of a shooter. Um, you got to make it hard on him. He's going to get some points here. He's proven that. Consensus first-team All-American um, has had a fabulous year. It is really have a, has a bright future. You got to make it hard for him and not to get into a rhythm. I don't think they quite knew at that time. They knew, like, you know, hey, this guy's going to score the ball for us. He's going to be one of our starters. He's going to be a really good player for him, probably going to be in the SEC. But did they know that he was going to be at the stat track? I wouldn't think so, you know, after three or four games when we, you know, when we played him. But, man, sure, you know, he's <laughs> he's a tough, tough cover, man. And so, like, we're going to have to do a good job with him and just make it difficult for him to catch the ball at times. Coach Painter, thank you. Good luck here today. All right, thank you. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Get you ready for NCAA tournament basketball. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Boilermaker basketball from Learfield.
Coach Painter's pregame comments were presented by Purdue Federal Credit Union. Purdue Federal Credit Union, proud to be the official credit union for Purdue fans. Discover the credit union difference at PurdueFed.com. When we return, Bobby Riddell is alongside. He'll give you the keys to the game presented by FMC. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hi, Katie Geralds here, head women's basketball coach at Purdue University. I'm a proud graduate of our College of Liberal Arts. My degree prepared me to connect with people and communicate well on and off the court, skills I use every day. I'm excited about the Degree Plus program, which allows all Purdue students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree and one from Liberal Arts and still graduate in four years. This and one can be a game changer. Check out the College of Liberal Arts Degree Plus program to see if this and one is a winner for you. U.S. Foods and the Purdue Boilermakers. What a recipe for success. Like Purdue, we both stand for quality and value. From our state-of-the-art Indianapolis-based distribution center, we at U.S. Foods are committed to meeting our customers' needs by providing all your quality food service and equipment products throughout all of Indiana and Northern Kentucky. It's what we do to bring guests into your business every day that makes the difference. Enjoy the game and remember, U.S. Foods, the official food service supplier of Purdue Athletics. Unity Healthcare, a trusted pillar in the community for more than 25 years, offers healthcare services that you can depend on. With a team of over 80 highly skilled providers, Unity Healthcare is committed to making the best decisions for your health right here in your local community. Visit one of our many healthcare specialists or urgent care to meet your specific healthcare needs. www.unityhc.com because we believe in working together towards a healthier future. Unity Healthcare, healthier together. We got it. University Bookstore has you covered on all Purdue Athletic Sports apparel. Shop online at PurdueU.com. Anything and everything you need. Or visit us at our main location across from the Union and our stadium store across from Mackey Arena. You want it? We got it. Only at the official textbook source for Purdue Athletics. On the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield, Boilermaker Basketball is brought to you by Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. Get to know us at indianakitchen.com. Also brought to you by Coors Light, made to chill. Proud sponsor of the Purdue Boilermakers. The tip is moments away. This is Boilermaker Basketball. Time now for our keys to the game. They're presented by FMC. Get season-long disease protection from the inside out with Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Thanks, Rob. Key number one, who's going to limit the second-chance opportunities? Both these teams, pretty good offensive rebounding teams. They're both in the top 20% of teams in the country at doing so. Purdue is 43rd. Tennessee is 66th in the country at offensive rebounding, so they both can get after the old boards. In that first matchup, Tennessee had uh, just 10 offensive rebounds against Purdue compared to what Purdue had, 17. So a nice seven rebound differential on the offensive glass, 13 uh, rebounding differential overall in that first matchup. But when you look at the game against Creighton the other day for Tennessee in the Sweet 16, Tennessee has 12 offensive rebounds. And so which of these teams can close defensive possessions out with a rebound going to be pivotal as that's going to allow them to get out in transition and try to steal some baskets in that fashion. The second key, the turnovers. As we talk about all year for Purdue, it's just so vital for this team to keep the turnovers at 13 or less because when that happens, Purdue is 26-0 now on the year. When they have 14 turnovers or more, they are 6-4. and four. Ironically enough, one of those games where they did have more than uh, more than 13 turnovers, they had 16 against Tennessee the first time these guys played in the Maui Invitational. And sure enough, Purdue was able to win that game, largely behind so many free throw attempts, got 48 free throw attempts in that game, ended up allowing them to prevail by one. This Tennessee team, though, is a pretty good team at forcing turnovers, forcing slightly over 13 turnovers forced per game. That's 78th in the country. Purdue in this NCAA tournament has been great. 10 turnovers versus scrambling and then nine each of the last two games against Utah State and Gonzaga. Purdue's at that number. You feel really good about it as far as the, the result for Purdue. Shockingly enough though, from a Tennessee standpoint, the turnovers don't seem to play as big of a role. In Tennessee's eight losses this year, 
they have fewer turnovers than their opponent in seven of those eight losses. Only one loss have they actually turned the ball over more than their opponent. So uh, the turnovers don't play as big a part, but the three-point shooting definitely does. When Tennessee, uh, in their eight losses, has not shot a better three-point percentage than the opposition in those eight losses. Of course, the Purdue game, which they lost, uh, Purdue and Tennessee shot the exact same percentage, both of them not good, 26.7%. Third and final key, I feel like this is a big X factor for the Vols. That is their point guard, Zakai Ziegler. I think Purdue's got to contain him. Uh, can't let him go crazy. Uh, Dalton Connect, we know how good a player he is. He's going to be difficult to stop. But if you're able to slow down everyone else, you put yourself in a good position. And Zakai Ziegler, he's, he's the number two for them. Uh, the point guard runs a show, second leading score. You know, didn't start in the first matchup. Uh, did end up playing 28 minutes, but uh, that's nothing like what he's doing these days. 40 minutes last game against Creighton. He's he's such a good on-ball defender. You know, is someone that from a defensive standpoint really starts things for them as far as forcing turnovers, pressuring the ball handler, not allowing the other team to get into their offense as easily as possible. And he likes to push in transition. If he's getting long rebounds or outlets, uh, he, he's going to try to get things going for this Tennessee team. We saw in the Gonzaga game for Purdue, transition defense was an issue at times. Lack of, communi lack of communication, not talking, find your man. We saw Nolan Hickman, the guard for Gonzaga, get a couple really nice, easy dribble-up rhythm threes that he was able to knock down because Purdue was not matching up in transition. Uh, that's going to play a big part. Can Purdue find Ziegler? Uh, we're we're going to see Lance Jones probably on him to start the game, picking him up full court, trying to make him work uh, if he's going to be out there for the majority of the game. That is it for our pregame show. Our starting lineups presented by Hayes and Sons and the opening tip-off when we come back. It's the NCAA Elite Eight, Purdue, Tennessee. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Keystone Cooperative is centered on delivering the farmer-owned cooperative of the future. Starting today, we're proud to be owned and operated by over 20,000 member owners. Keystone specializes in energy, home heat, agronomy, grain, animal nutrition, and swine production. And we remain centered on the valued relationships that have built and grown the cooperative for 100 years. Just like you, we're proud to back the boilers. Keystone Cooperative, centered on you. SeatGeek's the ticketing app for fans like the sideline shot caller. Come on, boys, pick up the pace. SeatGeek got him a great deal on seats right near the action, so when he yells, What are you doing? Book him! He can be absolutely sure the players heard him. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. You know you've got a comeback in you. When you take the next step, you're going to make it count for your career, for your family, for your life. You can earn a degree you're proud of with Purdue Global. Purdue Global is backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected and innovative public universities. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. This is your comeback. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. On the Purdue Global Sports Network, from Learfield, Boilermaker Basketball is brought to you by your Central Indiana Honda dealers are proud to be longtime fans and supporters of Purdue Athletics. Also brought to you by University Bookstore, the official textbook provider for Purdue Athletics and home to the original Purdue Pete. It's, it's the, the Boilermakers, Boilermakers and the and Tennessee, Tennessee Volunteers and the Elite the Eight. Eight. The tip is moments away. Purdue Boilermakers. Boilermaker Basketball is on the air. Time now for our starting lineups presented by Hayes and Sons, helping Boilermakers restore their property. Damaged by fire, water, mold, or storms for over 42 years. 
at Hayes and Sons, we do restoration right. The Tennessee Volunteers are ranked sixth in the country. They're the number two seed in the Midwest region. They're 27 and 8 on the year, and here's how they will go. In the backcourt, Zakai Ziegler, the point guard, 5'9", 171 pound junior from Long Island, New York, played 28 minutes against Purdue in that first game in Honolulu back in late November. He's a thousand point career scorer, coming off an ACL tear in February of last year. Think about that ACL tear in February, late February last year, and by November of this. Uh, season, he was functioning again at a high level just 10 months after the fact. Also in the backcourt, the first team All-American and SEC Player of the Year, Dalton Connect. 6'6", 213 pound, 50 year player from Thornton, Colorado transferred in from Northern Colorado after playing two years at Northeastern Junior College. Connect averaged 25.5 points a game this year in SEC play. The forwards are Jemai Mayshak, 6'4", 201-pound junior from Fontana, California. He had nine points against the Boilermakers back in November. And Josiah Jordan James, a 6'7", 220-pound fifth-year player, originally from Charleston, South Carolina. He had 17 points in their win over Creighton on Friday night. The center is Jonas A. Dew, 6'11", 240-pound junior from Durham, North Carolina. Averaging 12 points a game is Adu. He was second team All-SEC. The head coach of the Volunteers, the veteran Rick Barnes, a Hall of Famer in his ninth season in Knoxville. 37 years all told of college coaching. He is uh, one of the few that has over 800 wins in his career, 806 to be exact. The third-ranked Purdue Boilermakers are the number one seed. They are 32-4 and four on the year, and here's how they will go. The point guard, Braden Smith, 6'175 pounds, sophomore from Westfield. He had 14 points, 8 rebounds, 15 assists against Gonzaga Friday night. His running mate in the backcourt, Lance Jones, a 6'1", 200-pound fifth-year player from Evanston, Illinois, transferring in from Southern Illinois. He had 12 points, 3 assists against the Zags on Friday. The forwards are Fletcher Lawyer, 6'4", 180-pound sophomore. He's from Fort Wayne. He had 27 points, 6 rebounds, 3 steals against the Volunteers back in Honolulu. The other forward, Trey Kaufman-Wren, 6'9", 230-pound redshirt sophomore from Sellersburg. Zach Eady is the big man in the middle, first-team All-American, Big Ten Player of the Year, 7'4", 300 pounds, the senior from Toronto, leading the nation in scoring at 24.6 points a game, second in the nation, 12.1 rebounds a game. He had 23-10 and 10 against Tennessee in the first meeting way back in November. Our officials for this one is assigned by the NCAA, Ronald Groover, Ray Natilli, and Marquise Pettigrew. Tennessee is the traveling team in this one because they're the lower-seeded ball club, so they're wearing traveling orange. Orange uniforms, that's orange jerseys, orange shorts, with white numerals and lettering front and back for the Volunteers. Purdue wears the same white uniform they've been wearing for the entire NCAA tournament. It's the white jersey, the throwback whites, with the script Purdue cursive in black across the chest. Black numerals and lettering front and back and the old gold trim with black trim as well on the white shorts. This building seats just over 20,000. Sure feels like 20,000 right now. And we're hearing a loud Let's Go Boilers chant. The Purdue faithful has come out in full force here to try to support Purdue. And try to get the Boilers to their first Final Four since 1980. That's what's on the line for Purdue. Tennessee has never been to the Final Four in men's basketball. Tennessee... Good crowd on hand, not nearly as strong as Purdue, but Friday night really felt like a Purdue home game. Gonzaga had so few rooting for them in the building. That is not the case here today. Certainly many more Tennessee fans than Gonzaga fans have made their way to the Motor City here in Detroit on this Sunday afternoon, and a happy Easter Sunday to you and yours. 
They do it 6'11. We'll jump it up against the 7 foot 4 inch Zach Eady. Ron Gruber, the official, steps in between the two big men. He will throw the ball high in the sky. The tip is won by the Volunteers to our right, and we are underway at the Little Caesars Arena here in Detroit. Opening possession of the game handled by the Tennessee Volunteers. Ziegler is straightaway three, top of the key, short. Long rebound gotten by Ziegler. His rebound came all the way back to him. Now he'll drive underneath the basket. Leave it for Adu. Short jumper is an air ball. He was five feet from the basket. He shot it four feet, and it's rebounded by Purdue. The Boilermakers' Lance Jones came out of there with the air ball, and now Purdue left to right here in the first half with their first possession offensively. A three on the way. Braden Smith is missed off the right side of the rim, but rebounded by Edie. Both teams with an offensive rebound to start the game. Purdue inside to Edie after circling the ball right to left. He'll shoot with the left hand and score over Adu, and Purdue leads two to nothing. Edie nodding his head as he jogs back to the other end. Ziegler way out high. The ball goes to James. Swing at top of the key. This is Mayshack. Now gives it up to Ziegler. Ziegler dribbling between the circles. Gives to Connect. He's in the paint. Shoots a short jumper. Good. Pearl off of the screen for Connect. Eight feet straight away. He is wide open and we're tied at two. And that really good coming off those pin downs. That's what Tennessee does. They love getting him on the move right there. Nice easy jumper for him. Purdue inside to Edie, spinning and shooting, but missing this hook shot. Rebounded by Adu of Tennessee. We're all square at two apiece. We've played 90 seconds in Detroit. Connect between the circles. Uses a screen from Adu at the right elbow. Lost it. Picked it back up. Still has it in his possession. Top of the key. Swing at high left wing. Ziegler just outside of the arc. He'll use the screen from Adu to go left baseline. Back to Adu on a give and go. Shot up. Missed. Rebounded Edie. And then a foul. Edie had two hands on it. And Mayshak tried to sneak in from behind to take it away. But in doing so, he grabbed the right forearm of Edie. And that's a foul on Mayshak, first foul of this ball game. Well, that shot there for Adu, that's kind of his little money spot. He likes to shoot those little 10 to 15 foot little mid-range twos. And of course, with Zach Edie and drop coverage a lot and likely giving help in other areas, he's going to have some of those opportunities this time. Back iron, no good. Purdue with the rock. Purdue left to right with that rock. The dribbler is Braden Smith. Uses a screen, Edie, top of the key, left to right. Smith lobs for Edie, catches and dunks with two hands. A perfect pass from Braden Smith. Purdue leads 4-2. to two. Oh, that's just a beautiful find by Braden. He comes off that ball screen, stretches it out. Zach dives hard. He throws it beautifully right over the top of the defense. Only Zach can get it. Easy catch and jam. 17-45 to go in the first half. Tennessee the ball. Purdue a 4-2 to two lead. Ziegler to Adu. Back to Ziegler on the left baseline. And dribbles underneath the bucket, left to right. Kicked to Mayshack for a three. It's long, and it's rebounded by Braden Smith. Mayshack had a good look. He's a 39% three-point shooter, but didn't get that one to go. Purdue on the run. All the way to the rim. Braden Smith. No one stopped him, and he lays it over the front of the bucket. And that's the opportunities you can get against this Vols defense. They like to stay home with the big fella. Zach Eady won't give help at times off of him. Braden takes advantage. Lose 6-2. to two. Here's Connect dribbling between the rings. Guarded by Smith. Using a screen from Adu. Attacking Eady. Shooting a wild jumper and missing. But rebounded by the Volunteers. James a three. Left wing. Good. An offensive rebound leads to a triple for Josiah Jordan James. He's a 32% three-point shooter. Purdue leads 6-5. to five. That's what can happen when Zach Eady comes over to deny on the weak side. Here's a foul. A do ran into a dribbling Braden Smith. First foul of the game on Adu, second foul on Tennessee. Up slowly is Braden Smith. He took a pretty good knock to the noggin. Yeah, Adu was definitely a little overzealous there with the high hedge. Really tried to get out there because when Braden Smith, when he gets outside the shoulder of the high hedge, good things happen for Peru. The floor opens up. He has options. Adu tried to cut him off. But Braden too quick for him, and you get the foul. Braden in the front court on a catch with a shot clock at 15. Ziegler guards him. Boy, Ziegler's a good on-ball defender. Braden Smith leans in to connect, and he drew the foul. He shot faked. Connect took the bait. Rick Barnes is really unhappy with Ziegler because Ziegler took a side. He, and we talk about turned that, down. right? He turned down the screen, which allowed a free driving lane to Braden Smith, who then shot faked and drew the foul on Connect. Smith will to, uh, shoot two free throws. You said it right there. Braden Smith turns down the ball screen, and to your point, 
That's so critical from ball screen defensive standpoint that you force the guy who's on the ball, forces the ball handler as Braden makes the first free throw. You make him use the screen because your defender who's guarding the screener is expecting that ball handler to come off on a certain side. If you let him turn it down, there's usually no help. Braden then got Dalton Connect in the air. Made both free throws, did Braden. Purdue's leading 8-5 to five over Tennessee at the 16-30 mark. Our coaches always talk defensively, don't declare a side. That's what happened there. To connect from the right elbow, rising and firing and scoring. Boy, is he a good one. Four points for Dalton Connect. Purdue leads 8-7 to seven at the 16-15 mark. His ability to come off those screening actions, just elevate, is so elite. That's why he's going to be a pro. He's six foot six, and he shoots the ball high in the sky. Here's a three for Lance Jones. Missed it. Short rebounded Ziegler. Tennessee in transition. Mayshack will drive. He was fouled by Braden Smith trying to stop the layup. First foul of the game on the Boilermakers comes against Braden Smith at the 16:02 mark, and it will send Tennessee to the foul line. Jemai Mayshack, who's a 71% foul shooter. We'll have two foul shots here. Mayshock uh, wears number 15 on the orange uniform. A uh, left white leg sleeve for him makes the first shot. First scoring of the game for Mayshack from Fontana, California. Well, we certainly saw there why you know shot selection and bad misses can be so problematic for the other team who's shooting those balls. Tennessee gets a nice run out off of the miss. Both, miss by Lance that was both free throws and uh, end of the game Santiago Vescovi replacing Mayshek Vescovi normally a starter did not play Friday night because of the flu today he plays off the bench 6-3 a fifth year player from Uruguay he was a preseason All-American but this year has averaged just six and a half points a game mainly because Dalton Connect has gotten all the shots Trey Kaufman ran on the right block against Vescovy. Will shoot, and he'll score. Count the basket. And a foul at the line for an and one. Purdue's degree plus gives students the chance to earn a Bachelor of Science and one from the College of Liberal Arts both in four years. Check out the Liberal Arts degree plus and see if and one is right for you. Trey Kaufman Wren will be at the line for an and one when we come back. It's Purdue 10, Tennessee 9. 15.41 to go in the first half on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. The time to save is now. It's Ford Truck Month at your local Ford dealer. And right now, we're offering special deals on all remaining 2023 Ford F-150s in stock. That's right. Get great incentives on the best-selling trucks in America for 47 straight years. But you can't wait. This is a limited-time offer, and it's your last chance to save big on a 2023 Ford F-150. Check out all the great Truck Month deals at buyfordnow.com. And then get over to your local Ford dealer today. Hey, Purdue fans, say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. At Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First, we do more than lend. We lift up our rural communities that we serve, too. From our day-to-day -day business of providing reliable credit to farmers and rural residents, to our community investment efforts and scholarships for college students, we help Indiana's rural communities find their next level. Visit FCMA.com to learn more about how we work with partners like Purdue University. Boiler up. Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First are equal opportunity lenders. I get paid to do this. How cool is that? Wow. It's like you get paid to be a coach. And for me, I don't think there's a place out there better for me than Purdue University. Hi, I'm Kate Young, host of This is Purdue, the official podcast of Purdue University. Over the last three years, my conversations with Boilermakers have been serious, informative, and in the case of that exchange with former Purdue basketball coach Gene Cady and current head coach Matt Painter, downright fun. Be sure to follow This is Purdue on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. This is Ethan Morton, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. This broadcast of the NCAA Division I Men's Basketball Championship is authorized 
Under broadcast rights granted by the NCAA through Westwood One, it is intended solely for the private non-commercial use of our audience. Any reproduction, retransmission, or other use of this broadcast without the expressed written... We went to our last commercial timeout, the and one. Trey Kaufman ran the basket. The foul was called against Santiago Vescovi. Tennessee will sub Tobe Awaka, 6'8", 250-pound sophomore from Hyde Park. New York is into the game right now. And at the foul line for Purdue to try to complete an and one is Trey Kaufman Wren. He missed it. Into the game for Purdue is the redshirt freshman Camden Heidi at 6'7", from Moisetta, Minnesota. Purdue's up 10-9, Tennessee the ball, 15-30 to go. Ziegler guarded by Heidi, throws it inside, turnaround jumper good for Awaka. He had to shoot kind of a little fall away with Zach Eady hanging on him, and he knocked it in there, and it's an 11-10 lead for Tennessee. It's a pretty impressive move there, a little kind of shoulder shake, and then gets to that fadeaway. What a makers with the ball here in their white unis attacking a bucket to our right. Uh, right. Purdue throws it into Edie. Here comes the double team blocked. Blocked from behind by Josiah Jordan James. Vescovy racing up the right sideline, the far sideline as we look at it. Catch and shoot three for Connect. Good from the left wing. Dalton Connect got open on the left wing. Knocked in the triple. That's what he can do. Tennessee's up 14 to 10. And just a slight miscommunication there between Braden Smith and Fletcher Lawyer on who was going to take Ziegler and who's going to take Connect there in that transition. That's all the space needed for the jam. Seven, the early, seven early points for Connect. 14.30 to go in this first half. Eight on the shot clock. Purdue throws it into Edie. On the left block. Now at five. Now he'll spin. He'll shoot. He'll score. That'll help. Purdue's down 14-12. Six in a game for Edie. Connect looked at a three left wing. Now dribbles in. Pucked away and almost stolen. Almost stolen. Now a three for Connect. Oh, it turned out excellently for Tennessee. Purdue almost had a steal. It somehow ended up back into the hands of Connect, who made a three from the right wing. That's just so unfortunate for Purdue. That's the strips in, in Maui, in the Maui Invitational. They were getting those strips, and they were getting those loose balls, 50-50 plays. This time, Tennessee gets it. 17-12, to 12, and now a Purdue turnover. An illegal screen by Trey kaufman Wren. First foul of the game on Trey kaufman Wren will bring Mason Gillis into the game, the 6'6", 6'6", redshirt senior from Newcastle. Tennessee leading 17-12. Thanks to some red-hot shooting early from Dalton Connect. Averaging 21.1 a game. He already has 10 in this one. Ziegler guarded by Braden Smith. Walking it over the timeline right to left in that orange uniform. Connect using a screen to the right elbow. He'll rise and fire. Misses this one. Rebounded Braden Smith of Purdue. Second rebound for Braden. He wants to push the pace. Lawyer a deep three straight away. In and out. No good. Tipped in the basket. No, they're not going to count it anyway. Edie was fouled from behind as he was tipping at it with his right hand. Fouled from behind by Tobe Awaka. They're going to say no shot on the tip in or tip at. Matt Painter is arguing that that should have been at least a shooting attempt. Instead, Purdue will inbound baseline right. So Purdue inbounds baseline right, trailing 17 to 12. Coach Painter not happy there. Felt like the foul must have happened on the tip, but they called it before. Purdue lobs in to Edie. He had two arms wrapped around him by the defender, but didn't get the call. Here's the ball tipped in the backcourt, picked up by Braden Smith. Shot clock at 10. Purdue needs to hurry now. Shot clock at 8. Braden Smith left wing with a shot clock at 5. Lawyer, he will drive. He'll spin. He'll shoot a fall away and miss it. And on a dunk attempt, Edie was fouled. Edie tried to go with a tip dunk on the weak side, left side of the rim, but was fouled in the process. That will send him to the line with two foul shots. Foul will go against Josiah Jordan James. Boy, how did Fletcher Lawyer's shot not crawl into that basket? Yeah, Purdue's had a couple of balls just not drop in for him, but Zach Eady did get hit right there on the right forearm as he was trying to tip dunk that. It's a good call. 
15.06 remaining in this first half. Purdue's trailing 17 to 12. Edie will shoot the first foul shot and make it. Seven in the game for Edie. The first team All-American. Ten in the game for Connect for Tennessee, the first team All-American. Tennessee will sub. They'll bring in for the first time Jordan Ganey, the 6'3 junior from Tucson, Arizona. Transfer in from USC Upstate. He had 15 against Purdue in that game in Honolulu. Zach Eady, number 15 on the white uniform. The school's all-time leading scorer dribbles once, lets it fly, and makes it. Purdue's down 17-14 to the 13-06 mark. Big free throws there for Zach. He's, you know, for the most part, a pretty solid free throw shooter, but he's had inconsistent games here or there. Nice to see those first two free throws go down. Ziegler throws it inside. A walk, a right-handed hook shot over Edie. Missed and rebounded by Miles Colvin, who just subbed in a moment ago, the 6'5 freshman from Indianapolis. Colvin, a three in transition. In and out, no good. Rebounded Edie. Now in the corner for a three from Gillis. It's no good. Rebounded weak side connect. Purdue had a couple of good looks from good three-point shooters. Just couldn't get it to go. 17-14, Tennessee leading. Ziegler shooting a floater. No rebounded Lance Jones of Purdue. Lance will walk it up left to right. 12-25 to go first half. Tightly contested early. We knew it would be. 17-14, the Volunteers lead the Boilermakers. Inside to Edie on the left block. Here comes the double team. De Gillis for a three in the corner. That one misses as well. Boy, it's not often Mason misses two in a row. Good looks for the Boilermakers. Here comes Tennessee on a run. Meshack to Ziegler. 12 minutes remaining first half. Really good look there and, and a good pass by Zach Edie. Feeling Dalton Connect trying to come from behind to get the steal. Yeah, pretty surprised to see Mason miss two in a row, especially from the same exact spot. Connect kicking a corner. Open three. Ziegler left corner. He misses. He was wide open. Boy, good three-point shooters for both teams missing wide open shots here. Purdue on the run to Edie. Underneath the bucket. Now dribbles out of some trouble. Swings it left side. Colvin. 19 on the shot clock. Miles Colvin against Ganey. Top of the key. Gillis bounces it inside to Edie. Edie will turn and have his shot blocked. Blocked and saved inbounds by hustling Zakai Ziegler. Connect wants to attack. He does. Fouled on the run. It'll go against Camden Heidi. Timeout on the floor. First foul of the game on Heidi. 11-20 to go first half. Tennessee 17. Purdue 14 on the Central Indiana Honda Dealers scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Higher yield potential starts with the season-long systemic disease protection of Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Zyway brand fungicides protect corn crops from key foliar diseases and support physiological benefits that help develop healthier, higher yielding corn for a difference you'll appreciate at harvest. Visit your FMC retailer for an at-plant advantage. Always read and follow all label directions. If your company is seeking to relocate or expand quickly, Hancock County, Indiana has a wide variety of business sites, including four shovel-ready certified silver business parks, plus higher than normal broadband capacity with an extensive fiber network with more than 2,000 miles of lines. Connecting opportunity with success. Contact the Hancock County Economic Development Council at www.hancockedc.com or at 317-477-7241. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. Unity Healthcare, a trusted pillar in the community for more than 25 years, offers healthcare services that you can depend on. With a team of over 80 highly skilled providers, Unity Healthcare is committed to making the best decisions for your health right here in your local community. Visit one of our many healthcare specialists or urgent care to meet your specific healthcare needs. www.unityhc.com because we believe in working together towards a healthier future. Unity Healthcare, healthier together. Purdue 
Women's Basketball Postseason, sponsored by BW Fusion. Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion, and goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. Find out how to build your most powerful gallon in ag today at mpga.ag. BW Fusion, proud presenting sponsor of Purdue Men's Basketball Postseason. Rob Blackman with Bobby Riddell, on-site audio engineer Wes Scott is here. We're in Detroit, where early in the game, Tennessee leads Purdue 17-14, 11-20 to go in the first half. Purdue is 0-5, three-point shooting. Tennessee is 3-6, for six. that's the difference in the game right now. No question, and Purdue's gotten quite a few really good looks. Uh, just recently, a, a transition opportunity where Miles Colvin sprinting down the floor on the left wing in rhythm a step in three it just rims off offensive rebound opportunity back to mason gillis in the left corner it goes begging as well the next time down mason gets one same exact spot not able to convert as well so some good looks for purdue you got to feel at least good from the fact that hey we can't get a three to, to go down right now but we're still just down three one possession game and uh, so hopefully, you know, from a Purdue standpoint, you can start knocking down some, some perimeter shots. Well, Purdue is the best three-point shooting team in the country by percentage, 41%. Tennessee will have the ball baseline left when we resume action. For the moment, Zach Eady is on the bench, getting a rest replaced by Trey Kaufman Wren. Braden Smith had been subbed out a moment ago. Now Braden is back on the floor. Tennessee ball here. Baseline left in their orange uniforms out of the Southeastern Conference. They lob it way out high to Adu, who catches, gives to Ziegler. Ziegler guarded by Lance Jones with the shot clock at 18. Between the circles, works his way right elbow, gives to Adu from 15 feet, shoots and misses short. Rebounded Braden Smith. That's already Braden's third rebound of the game. Braden had eight rebounds Friday night against Gonzaga. He's been very active on the defensive boards. Less than 11 to go in the first half. Braden was two rebounds shy of a triple-double Friday night. Left wing, Lance Jones has it. Wants to drive on Mayshack. Got to the rim. Shoots a wild shot that's missed. And a foul against, I think, Trey Kaufman Wren pushing off. Trying to get rebounding position. And, yes, now two fouls here in the second half on Trey Kaufman Wren. That will get Zach Eady up off of the bench. Well, that is what the coaches talk about from a dribble penetration standpoint. Lance Jones, I like the drive there. Put some pressure on the defense, but he doesn't end up getting a great angle at the rim. They want him playing off two feet there, jump stopping, and then trying to spray out. Maybe find Kaufman Wren down low, spray out for threes. Instead, takes kind of a wild layup, and it doesn't even draw iron. And Kaufman Wren overzealous on the offensive glass there, gets the push in the back. Connect. Working to the left elbow on Colvin. Will shoot a wild kind of off-balance jumper. Rebounded by, by Miles. E. Yeah, that was really good D by the freshman. Rebounded by uh, the Boilermaker, Zach Eady. A three in transition. That one is good for Braden Smith. A bullseye. Purdue's first triple of the game. A oh, huge hit there for Purdue. And how about Braden Smith kind of just navigating in transition, weaving back and forth around a dude, getting separation from Ziegler, splashes the three. Ziegler into the middle of the paint, gives up to a dude. Short jumper, no. Rebounded Braden Smith. Five rebounds already for Braden. Make it four. Four rebounds. I'm overzealous here. Braden will drive down the left side of the paint. Had it stolen, but went right into the hands of Edie. He turns, shoots, and scores. That time, Purdue has got a lucky bounce on a defensive carom. It's nice to get a 50-50 ball to go Purdue's way, and Zach turns quickly and scores with the right hook. Purdue leads 19-17. Tennessee the ball. Fans on their feet in the old golden black. Ziegler to the elbow left. Dribbles underneath the back uh, basket. Gives it to Adu, who loses it. Loose on the floor. Fighting for it are the Boilermakers. Braden Smith picks it up, and Purdue has possession. Boilermakers on the run. Quickly, Mason Gillis. He wants to drive to the elbow. Give to Colvin. Colvin will shoot from 17. Missed it long. Rebounded. Out of bounds. Last touch by Tennessee. Purdue made an, uh, an effort play on the defensive end. Braden Smith was not the first to the floor. His teammate Lance Jones was. But Purdue and Braden Smith ended up with it. Purdue inbounds baseline right, leading 19-17 with 9-16 remaining first half. Well, I like the push there again. Miles Colvin gets to a nice rhythm pull-up. 
He gets so much great elevation on those pull-up jumpers. Don't connect, very similar on the other end. Uh, unfortunately, Miles just has it go off the side of the rim, but Purdue gets the extra possession here. Edie at the top of the key off of an inbound, wants to dribble hand off to Lance Jones and does. Right wing, Braden Smith guarded by Vescovi. Nine on the shot clock. Braden uses a screen, high right wing from Edie. Tried to lob it into Edie, but threw it out of bounds. Zach didn't see the pass was coming. Zach had turned to look for a rebound. He thought Braden was shooting, and it's a Purdue turnover. Braden actually hit the net with a pass, and then it went out of bounds. I thought it was going to hit the net and fall right into Zach's hands, quite frankly. Yeah, I think it probably would have found Zach if he was looking for it. Unfortunately, as you said, I thought maybe a shot was going up. Here's Ziegler, perimeter right, one step off side of the outside of the arc by Lance Jones, the defender guarding. Ziegler picked up the dribble, throws it high right wing where it's caught here by Meshack. He'll drive, kick in a corner for a James three. Good again. Josiah Jordan James has made two threes in the game. Tennessee leads 20 to 19. And that's where if you're Mason Gillis, you got to know what James wants to do. He wants to catch and shoot. That's his deal. And he's just a little bit too far off of him and allows the easy rhythm three. Inside to Edie. Knocked away and stolen. Good defense from behind by Tobe Awaka. Couple of turnovers, back-to-back -back possessions for the Boilermakers. 8.07 to go first half. Tennessee 20, Purdue 19. Ziegler, perimeter right, chest pass into the hands of Vescovy. Now they swing it left side to Josiah Jordan James. To Vescovy, back to James, left wing. Back to Vescovy, right wing. Now to Ziegler, an open three in the right corner is good. Zakai Ziegler, a 35% three-point shooter. Four-point Tennessee lead at 23 to 19. These Tennessee guards like to run off screening action right there along the baseline. Kind of a wild card action. All the way to the rim, a right-handed layup. Braden Smith blew past his defender, Ziegler. Purdue's down 23-21. Tennessee the ball. Braden throwing the Jets on there to get all the way to the 10. Beautiful scooping layup over the front. Walker standing at the top of the key with a ball in the triple threat. Now hands to his teammate. Meshack, swing it left side. James will drive into the painted area. He'll spin and shoot over Mason Gillis and score. Boy, Josiah Jordan James, who averages eight a game, has eight in the first half. And it's 25-21 Tennessee. Well, Mason does a good job there. Does take away the rhythm three, but James shows he's got more to his game. Lance Jones, catch and shoot three, left wing, long. It's actually an air ball. Meshack rebounds for Tennessee. Purdue down four. Tennessee the ball at the 647 mark of this first half. Ziegler dribbling on the right wing to Awaka. Tobe Awaka back to Ziegler. Using the screen from Awaka. Snake dribbles to the right elbow. Gets to the rim. Leaves it for Awaka down low. Poked away from behind. Great hands. Lance Jones. Purdue on a takeaway. On the run. Fletcher Lawyer all the way to the rim. The layup. No. There was contact. No foul was called. Here we go quickly the other way. Tennessee. James. The Ziegler. 6.15 to go. Aggressive drive by Lawyer. Just could not complete in traffic. Ziegler. Short floater. Foul on Lance Jones. Timeout on the floor. 6.10 to go. We're in the first half. Tennessee 25, Purdue 21 on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Higher yield potential starts with the season-long systemic disease protection of Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Zyway brand fungicides protect corn crops from key foliar diseases and support physiological benefits that help develop healthier, higher yielding corn for a difference you'll appreciate at harvest. Visit your FMC retailer for an at-plant advantage. Always read and follow all label directions. You know you've got a comeback in you. When you take the next step, you're going to make it count for your career, for your family, for your life. You can earn a degree you're proud of with Purdue Global. Purdue Global is backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected and innovative public universities. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. This is your comeback. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance. But not just any insurance. We're good at... No, 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 no! Did you forget the parking brake? Yes, you forgot the parking brake. Insurance. When the forecast calls for cheese ball size hail insurance. Even... Shouldn't have... 
parked under that tree. Insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. This is Zach Eady, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. Tennessee 25, Purdue 21. No, no one gets you closer to the game than Sirius XM Big Ten Radio. Tune in for news, talk, analysis from the offseason through the regular season into the postseason. We've got Purdue covered anywhere you go. Get a free trial at SiriusXM.us slash Big Ten Radio 2023. 610 remains in the first half. Purdue just not shooting the ball well from three. That's putting it kindly, 14% from three. And there have been plenty of good looks mixed in there. Tennessee, I think they're happy with their three-point shooting. They're 63% from the long line. After hitting 11 of 24 threes in the Friday night win over Creighton. Tennessee, definitely a team that is really effective from the three-point line when they get hot. They got a lot of guys who can... You know, maybe aren't shooting the greatest, you know, percentages. They don't have a single guy in their rotation shooting above 40%, but a bunch of guys in that uh, low low to mid-30s that have the full capability of knocking them down. And right now, like Josiah Jordan-James, 33% three-point shooter on the year, and he's hit a couple big ones, especially kind of big momentum ones when I feel like Purdue had some things going in their favor, and he stepped up and knocked them down. Obviously, Dalton Connect has hit two, and he's a high-level shooter. We know that. So he, Purdue's going to have to do a better job taking away those threes. You know, that, that mid-range jumper, Jordan James, over the top of Mason Gillis, those are the ones you live with uh, from a Purdue standpoint defensively. Purdue breaking the huddle with Trey Kaufman Wren, who's playing with two fouls. Zach Eady, Braden Smith, Fletcher Lawyer, Camden Heidi. New man in the game for Tennessee, Kate Phillips, 6'9", freshman from Jacksonville, Alabama. He doesn't play a lot of minutes, but he's in the game here. Zakai Ziegler at the line for two free throws for Tennessee. And Ziegler makes the first foul shot. He has four points in the game. Ziegler is a 73% foul shooter. He had 18 points and six assists against Creighton Friday night in the Sweet 16 game. And he missed the second foul shot, and it's a long rebound out near midcourt and grabbed by Ziegler. And then fouled by Lawyer. Ziegler is just so fast. That ball got tipped all the way out to midcourt, and he was able to win the foot race. And then he got tripped up from behind by Fletcher Lawyer. First foul on Lawyer. Purdue, one more foul to give now. That's the fifth team foul. But definitely a frustrating moment there. You do get Ziegler to miss it, but it's a it's a hard miss. Straight off the back iron, propels out past the three-point line. And as you said, it, Rob, unfortunately, uh, Fletch is not going to win uh, a race with Zakai Ziegler, and Ziegler just beat him to it. Ziegler has two offensive rebounds in the game, both of his own misses. He missed a three early and got the rebound. And it bounced all the way back out to him, and now he gets this free throw. Connect the three in the corner. Good. Dalton Connect. Man, is this guy a flamethrower. His third three of the game. Tennessee, its largest lead at 29-21. Purdue, high right elbow catch for Edie. Dribbling once, gives to Lawyer. Lawyer against Vescovy. Throws Trey Kaufman in right wing. Lobs it into Edie on the right block. Well, they go man for man. No back to Lawyer. Right back into Edie. Five on a shot clock. Turns and spins and misses. Rebounded Tennessee. Good defense in there by Cade Phillips. I uh, beg your pardon, J.P. Estrella. That's Estrella into the game. Vescovy missed the floater but got his own board. Out to connect for three. He hits again. Timeout, Purdue. Just in an absolute rhythm right now, shooting the basketball, not even touching the rim on that latest three. Offensive rebounding, killing Purdue from a defensive standpoint. Dalton connect in this game. 16 points. He had 16 for the entire game against Purdue back in November. 
By the way, I miscalled it a moment ago on the sub for Tennessee. They actually subbed in J.P. Estrella, 6'11", freshman from Scarborough, Massachusetts. He, too, rarely plays four minutes a game. But he did a good job defensively just a moment ago. Down there, one-on-one -on, -one on the block against Zach Eady. Forced a tough shot. And the Tennessee Volunteers have their largest lead of the game at 32-21. to This is gut check time, certainly, from a Purdue team. Dealing with some adversity here in the first half. A lot of ball game left. But time now to settle in, get some execution here on this possession after a timeout. Get yourself a bucket and try to get this Purdue crowd here back in your favor. Get the energy back on your side. Bob, Tennessee is 70% from the three-point line. As a team coming in, they're 34% on the season. They're at 70 right now. Yeah, their eight losses this year, they have not shot the three ball well at all. Their best three-point percentage in their losses, 33%. Obviously, she's shooting substantially better uh, so far from the three-point line in this game. So Purdue is going to have to shore the three-point defense up uh, if they want to be able to win this game because clearly if Tennessee keeps up this clip, uh, it's going to be a long afternoon for Purdue. It's one thing for Josiah Jordan-James to hit a couple of threes. He's a 32% three-point shooter. So if you're Purdue, you just live with that. But giving Dalton Connect open looks, that is never good. He's four of four at the three-point line is Connect. I mentioned already the 16 points for Dalton Connect. As a team, 7 of 10. Tennessee from the three-point line. Purdue from the three-point line, 1 of 7. It is a shot-making game. Right now, Tennessee's making them. If you need your best players to shine brightest in games like this, and Tennessee's best player has certainly rose to the occasion thus far here to start this Elite Eight ball game and Purdue get him out of rhythm. We are near the top of the hour here on the network, so let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is Boilermaker Basketball from Learfield. Just one minute ago, it was a four-point Tennessee lead, 25-21. They came out of the media timeout, did the balls, made a free throw, missed the second one, but got the rebound. And that rebound has helped ignite a 6-0 run after the rebound by the Volunteers to push the lead out to 32-21, back-to-back threes from Dalton Connect. You don't want to fall too far behind against Tennessee because they're so good on defense. All the way to the rim, Fletcher Lawyer with a layup. Purdue broke the full court press by just throwing it to Lawyer who went unabated all the way down the floor for a layup. Tennessee never stopped him. That's a big time attack by Fletch. And maybe a questionable decision there by Tennessee to get in that full court press allows Purdue to get a quick easy bucket. Ziegler three, left wing air ball. Rebounded Edie. Five rebounds for Zach Eady to go at 10 points. Purdue's down 32-23. Oilers the ball in their white uniforms. Using a screen from Eady. Braden Smith throws it into Eady, and he will hesitate and then dunk. He let the defender fly by, and he dunked it home. Four in a row, and now a turnover on Tennessee. They were racing up the near sideline, trying to pass the ball to connect. Lance Jones was waiting on him, and he knocks the ball out of bounds off of Dalton Connect. Purdue on a modest 4-0 run gets the ball back. Well, we said it was gut check time coming out of that timeout, and huge early spurt here by Purdue. 4-0, and getting this crowd back on their side. Full court pressure from Tennessee. Warrior is the inbounder. Needs help, throws to Mason Gillis. Throws it to Braden Smith, still on the backcourt. Braden will bring it up against Zakai Ziegler. Yep, that guy can guard the basketball. 4.15 to go in a half. Braden Smith to the free throw line, extended stops, lobs it into Edie. He had it stripped away and stolen by James, and then nearly taken back by Edie. Now there's a wrestling match on the floor. What do we have? Held ball situation. Zach Edie dove on the floor, and Purdue gets the ball back on the alternating arrow. Boy, how about Zach Edie? The ball was stripped away from behind, but he didn't panic. He stayed in the play and was able to get that ball back for Purdue. 
It was a big mishandle there by James, actually. He gets the steal, starts to try to push, and he loses the handle. And fortunately, Zach, who was upset, felt like maybe there was some contact on the strip. He stays with it, though, hustling back and is able to get that jump ball. Purdue trails 32-25, to 4.03 to go in his first half. Lance Jones with the ball in the front court, 15 on the shot clock for Purdue. Chest pass to Braden Smith, now left wing chest pass, Gillis. Gillis guarded by James, top of the key, Edie on a catch. He'll give to Lawyer. Lawyer will drive down the lane, layup good. Another layup for Fletcher Lawyer, right down Michigan Avenue. 32-27, Tennessee the lead, Purdue on a run. Fletcher Lawyer putting the pressure on the defense. Connect, eight footer left side, no good. He finally missed one. Stop the presses, Gillis rebounds for Purdue. Braden Smith wants to push the tempo, he does. Cut off by Connect, a foul away from the ball on Tennessee. I don't know who fouled. Awaka. But it was, thank you. Now I know, Tobe Awaka away from the ball. His second timeout on the floor. Purdue trailing 32-27, 3.23 to go in the first half on the Central Indiana Honda Dealers scoreboard. Purdue will be at the free throw line when we come back. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Purdue fans, say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. U.S. Foods and the Purdue Boilermakers. What a recipe for success. Like Purdue, we both stand for quality and value. From our state-of-the-art Indianapolis-based distribution center, we at U.S. Foods are committed to meeting our customers' needs by providing all your quality food service and equipment products throughout all of Indiana and Northern Kentucky. It's what we do to bring guests into your business every day that makes the difference. Enjoy the game and remember, U.S. Foods, the official food service supplier of Purdue Athletics. If you're a Boilermakers fan, you know that scoring big is everything. Few things feel as good as watching your team pass, shoot, and dribble their way to victory. Off the court, you can experience that same feeling with a Magnum tractor from Case IH. Magnum tractors match the power, speed, and strength of the best Boilermakers by helping you net every challenge that comes your way. Score big with a Magnum tractor this season by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Boilermakers to learn more. Boiler up! At Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First, we do more than lend. We lift up our rural communities that we serve, too. From our day-to-day -day business of providing reliable credit to farmers and rural residents, to our community investment efforts and scholarships for college students, we help Indiana's rural communities find their next level. Visit FCMA.com to learn more about how we work with partners like Purdue University. Boiler up. Farm Credit Mid-America and Rural First are equal opportunity lenders. Purdue is on a 6-0 run, trailing Tennessee 32-27. The 2023-24 Purdue basketball season presented by Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Earn a degree you're proud of and employers respect. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. Rob Blackman, Bobby Riddell, Wes Scott, Portside. Here at the Little Caesars Arena, the home of the Detroit Pistons of the NBA, and Jaden Ivey as well, the former Boilermaker, who, of course, is a star for the Pistons. Today, it's NCAA Tournament Elite Eight action. And as we resume ac as we resume action, to the foul line with a one-and-one one will, will go Purdue's Zach Eady. Well, a big one-and-one one here for Zach. Purdue, all the momentum in this ball game right now in a 6-0 spurt to get back in it. One and one here for Zach. Need these to go down to keep Purdue's momentum on their side. 323 remains in the first half. And Zach Eady will dribble one time. He'll shoot. He'll make it. Zach has been his normal brilliant self so far today. 12 points. I beg your pardon. 13 points. Five rebounds. 88 straight double-figure games for Big Z. 
Dribbles once, bends the knees, lets it fly. Got it. Purdue's down 32-29. Tennessee the ball. Purdue fans rise to their feet. Ziegler dribbling high right wing, guarded closely by Braden Smith to connect. Curled in the paint, stolen away by Lawyer. Fletch doubled down, and then Fletch got tripped from behind by Jamai Meshack. Connect never saw Lawyer doubling down from the weak side. A clean swipe from Fletcher. And now he'll go to the foul line with a one and one. Well, those are the impact plays he was making against the Vols in Hawaii. And, and how about the savviness? We saw Ziegler do the exact same thing to him after the long miss free throw rebound where he kind of just used his backside to get into Fletcher and fall down and get a foul call. Fletcher this time does the same thing to Meshack. Feels him on his backside, falls down, gets the call. Now a couple big free throws. Well, one and one here for Fletch. First one on the way, made it. Fletcher on the year, an 86% foul shooter. Five points for Fletcher, and they've all come in this burst here after Purdue was down 11. Second one on the way for Fletch, also good. And now Purdue's down 32 to 31. A 10 0 run by the Boilermakers. Tennessee the ball at the three minute mark. James between the circles. Vescovy right wing bounces it inside to Adu. He dribbles away from some trouble. A three on the way from Connect. No good. Rebounded Edie. He had a three from the right wing, but this one wouldn't go down. Zach Edie grabs a board, hands the ball to Braden Smith. Braden, high left elbow, picks up the dribble. Needs some help. Someone needs to come rescue the ball. There's Mason Gillis to catch it, top of the key. Inside to Edie, spinning on Adu, shooting and scoring. He went strong and banked it home with a right hand. A kiss in Detroit Rock City. And the Boilers got the lead. Down low, here's a steal for Mason Gillis. Now it's loose on the floor. They're fighting for it. Edie is wrestling with a Tennessee player. Vescovy. Held ball. Alternating possession arrow points the way of the Volunteers. Oh, Purdue has gotten much more active defensively. Yes, they have, and Purdue's so close there to getting another steal. Good active hands by Tennessee to get back into the play and force the tie-up. 2.18 to go in the half. Purdue leading 33-32. Purdue is on an 11-0 run. Deep three, Vescovy missed it, rebounded Edie. Purdue's actually on a 12-0 run. I need to learn basic <laughs> math skills. 2.05 to play, 33-32 Purdue. Driving, Braden Smith, banking at home. He didn't get it to go, but he was fouled on the drive, attacking from the left side of the paint. Foul on whom, Connect? I believe Ziegler on the... On correct, the you are correct. Thank you, Ziegler his first. Wishful thinking on my part. <laughs> yeah, get that second foul on Connect quickly. <laughs> But how about that sequence there? Purdue, a concerted effort to deny Dalton Connect on these under out of bounds plays. He loves to come off and shoot. They throw two guys at him, which leaves Vescovy wide open at the top of the key. A breakdown, certainly, for him to be that open. He rims that three out, and then Braden Smith goes down the other way, gets fouled. Unfortunately, does leave this first free throw short off the front of the rim. Braden's 81% at the foul line this year, but as Bob said, left it short. Braden, nine points, five rebounds, two assists currently. Will be double bonus the rest of this half. Oh, and he missed the second one. And now it's on the floor. Mason Gillis is in the scrum yet again. What a surprise. And now Purdue will get this held ball. So Braden Smith is angry at himself. He missed two foul shots. But Mason Gillis said, I'll do the heavy lifting for you, big dog. And he gets the ball back for Purdue on this held ball. Purdue will inbound baseline right. Purdue's up 33-32 with 1.59 to go in the half. Tennessee's coaching staff, they look bewildered over there. I think they feel like it's their ball, but I don't think they realize it was a jump ball right, just here right. a second ago. As you can hear, the Purdue crowd is alive and well here in Detroit. Purdue inbounds, baseline right. Lawyer lobs out high left wing, caught by Edie. Trying to back down Adu. Here comes the double team. Out to Lance Jones. He'll drive, kick in a corner. Faking a three is Smith. Out to Lawyer. He fakes a three. He dribbles in. He's blocked from behind. Good defense by the Volunteers. Picked up by Ziegler, and then he was fouled by Mason Gillis. That's Purdue's seventh team foul. 
burst on Gillis, but now we walk to the other end for free throws. Boy, that was a strong take, <laughs> but an even better defensive effort by Tennessee to block that shot at the rim. It really was. Quality rim protection coming from the backside. Jordan James from behind gets Fletcher as he tried to lay it over the front of the rim. But then, yeah, unfortunately, a little nickel dimer in the backcourt there on Mason. That's going to send Ziegler here to the line for a one-on-one. -on -one. But Coach Painter applauding Purdue's ball movement, driving and kicking there. Ziegler missed it. Missed the front end of a one-and-one. One. Zach Eady grabs his eighth rebound. 16-8 and eight for Eady. 95 seconds to play first half. Uh-oh, Brain's in trouble. Picked up the dribble. Luckily found Mason Gillis, top of the key. He came to rescue the ball. Here's Lawyer. Right wing guarded by Connect. Bounces inside to Eady. He will spin. He will shoot. He couldn't get it to go, but he was fouled by Josiah Jordan James. No, no, I beg your pardon. He was fouled by Jonas Adu. Second foul on Adu. And at the line with two foul shots will be the Board of Makers All-American. Zach Eady. Zach right there just caved in Adu under the basket. Basically caught that thing with his head under the rim. Uh, when that happens, you're in deep trouble against Big Z. Goes over his right shoulder, gets hacked. Unfortunately, not able to convert that little left-handed baby hook, but does now get two free throws to try to expand this Purdue lead, 33-32 at the moment. Both these teams, how about that? Point guards, really quality players, free throw shooters too. Braden misses two, and then Ziegler misses a huge front end on the other side. Two foul shots for Zach Eady. Shooting the first, he missed. But who's missed three in a row? Zach Eady on the Naismith finalist list. There are only four names on that list. Eady, one of them. Dalton Connect, one of them. Well, this is a big one here. You don't want to come out of that possession with nothing to show for it. One dribble and a shot, and that's what happened. And now a foul. Oh, no, no. We're going to try again because a Tennessee player stepped in the lane too early. I didn't see who it was, but Edie gets a reprieve here after missing the second foul shot. Well, that was interesting because Mason Gillis had gotten really good inside rebounding position there. I don't know if they were potentially going to call a foul as that ball got knocked out of bounds, but so yeah, you maybe would have had Mason Gillis taking two free throws. Instead, Zach does get one more, though, at least. All right, Zach, let's see what happens. There, he got it. So Purdue takes advantage of the uh, miscue there by Tennessee. Purdue 34, Tennessee 32, 120 to go. First half, volunteers the ball. Ziegler between the rings is dribbling. Left side to connect into the paint. Rises, shoots, and misses again. Rebounded Braden Smith. Connect was 10 feet straight away and just shot it a little too hard. Uh, Purdue on the run left to right now. A three on the way for Lawyer is short. Long rebound way out to Braden Smith. Purdue gets a reload here. We're down to 50 seconds to go first half. Driving Lance Jones. Got caught underneath the basket and turned it over. And this will be a run out. This will be a run out and a dunk for Connect. A Purdue turnover leads to an uncontested dunk shot for Dalton Connect. Lance Jones arguing with the official, feeling like he got fouled on the drive, but no call, and that led to the turnover and a huge two-handed flush for Connect. We're tied at 34. Purdue inside Edie. 25 to play. Hook shot Edie. Got the friendly roll. Purdue 36, Tennessee 34. Shot clock turned off. Game clock at 14.8. Timeout, Tennessee. Purdue Athletics would like to thank and recognize members of the Black and Gold Club who support Purdue Athletics through their sponsorship at the highest level. Black and Gold Club members include Indiana Packers, Molson Coors, Rorman Automotive Group, Wabash, Purdue Global, and Purdue Federal Credit Union, each great partners of Purdue Athletics. Well, if you're Purdue, you really got to like where you're at right now. Two-point lead after being down 11 points and Dalton Connect seemingly making everything from every angle, especially from long range. You know, you're worried that you're going to be in a position where you might have this uphill climb that you can't come back from at the halftime horn. Instead now, you're one defensive stop away from having an advantage here at the half. And, uh, yeah, you feel really good uh, considering where you were just uh, about, what, 10 minutes ago or so. J.P. Estrella will play for the final 14.8 for Tennessee. The seldom used big man protecting Adu on the bench with two fouls. 
14.8. Tennessee will inbound on the far sideline, directly across from our vantage point. Shooting at the basket to our left. Purdue 36, Tennessee 34. The Boilers get Braden Smith out of here for to protect him from getting a second foul. Bring Cannon Heidi in. In the backcourt it goes to Ziegler, guarded by Heidi. We're down to eight seconds, now seven. Now to connect between the rings. Uses a screen from Estrella. Dribbles in, left bank shot. No, Estrella tipped at it. No, rebounded Edie in the first half is over. Pretty good look from the left wing. Connect couldn't get it to go. Estrella tipped at it, but it was short. And that will take us to the halftime horn with Purdue leading 36-34 over Tennessee. Well, Bob, I think what you said a moment ago was astute. With 5-11 to go in the half, Purdue was down 32-21. Boilermakers had to take a timeout, and you felt like Purdue was teetering. And Purdue ends that half on a 15-2 run to have a two-point lead. What a huge spurt there to finish the half on a high note. And now Purdue's got a lot of confidence. They feel like, hey, let's just... You know exactly what we did to close that half. Let's start the second half that same way, enforce our will, keep throwing that thing inside to Zach, starting to build some foul trouble for some of their bigs, and let's just take this thing home. In case you were wondering, the game in Honolulu on November the 21st when we went to the halftime horn, Tennessee had a one-point lead in that game, 31-30. to That was in November. Here we are on the final day of March where Purdue leads 36-34 as we have reached halftime here in Detroit. More on the Coors Light Halftime Report when we come back. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. University Bookstore is the official textbook source for Purdue Athletics and the home of the original Purdue Pete. Cash in on three-point Thursdays with Purdue men's and women's basketball. When Purdue scores, so do you. With winning home games, you can save up to 39% on in-store purchases. Gear up for game days with the number one fun place for Purdue. University Bookstore, two locations, State Street, and across from Mackey Arena. It's University Bookstore. This is Mason Gillis, Purdue men's basketball. For my friends at the Haldeman Companies, proud supporters of Purdue University. They use the same principles for success that Coach Panner teaches us. The importance of teamwork, execution, and tremendous effort are keys to success. Their team includes farm managers, appraisers, and real estate brokers with the experience, knowledge, and professionalism to help you accomplish your farm goals. Since 1930, if it has anything to do with the business of farming, Haldeman can help. Visit Halderman.com to learn more. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. We Boilermakers show our pride in a number of ways. From a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with the Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. On the Purdue Global Sports Network, from Learfield, Boilermaker Basketball is brought to you by Coors Light, made to chill, proud sponsor of the Purdue Boilermakers. Also brought to you by Case IH. Take your success off the court and out into the field with Case IH's superior farming tools. Visit your local Case IH dealer or learn more at caseih.com slash boilermakers. And by Indiana Kitchen Premium Pork Products. Get to know us at indianakitchen.com. Purdue Boilermaker Basketball is on the air. This is the Boilermaker Halftime Show. Welcome to our Coors Light Halftime Report. Coors Light, mounted cold refreshment made to chill. Proud partner of the Purdue Boilermakers. Purdue has a two-point lead over Tennessee, 36-34. Halftime in Detroit. 
the Elite Eight action of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament. Purdue had only four players score in the first half, 19 from Zach Eady. Tennessee had five different players score in the first half. They got 18 from Dalton Connect. Well, of course, the two teams, first team All-American selections are playing at a high level. That's exactly what we would expect. Rob Blackman here with Bobby Riddell at halftime. And, well, Bob, we expected a heavyweight tilt. And in the first 20 minutes, that is exactly what we got. No question about that. It's just been a physical battle back and forth on both sides of the equation. And, uh, yeah, the best players, as you said, stepping up on both sides, connect uh, from a volunteer standpoint, and Zach Eady for the Boilers. Uh, it's, it's been a fun game to watch so far. Tennessee outscoring Purdue by 18 points at the three-point line. You hate to see that, of course, from a Purdue standpoint, but Purdue returning the favor as far as points in the paint go, outscoring Tennessee in the paint by 16. So kind of two styles going back and forth, but Purdue a great three-point shooting team, the best in the country, now 12.5% this game, one of eight from three. If Purdue wants to win this game, they're going to have to knock down a couple triples here in the second half. Boy, isn't that the thing, though, Bob? If you're Purdue, you're the best three-point shooting team in the country. As you said, you're one of eight, yet you have a two-point lead. Hey, you got to feel really fortunate if you're Purdue where, where you're at right now. You've given up a ton of threes uh, to Tennessee. You've you're not able to make a shot you're in your own right. It's, it's got a little bit of a similar vibe to that Alabama game uh, we played in Toronto where Alabama had made a bunch of threes in that first half, and you were just down by two points, and you kind of felt like, hey, we're in a decent spot. Obviously, in this case, you're up two. So after all that stuff in the first half, to have that 11-point deficit, uh, just a, it was a great timeout called by Coach Painter, obviously, in that moment. Rally the troops, and a, a huge spurt there to end that first half. Just for reference... That Alabama game that Bob is talking about, in the first half in that game, Alabama made 13 threes. They were 13 of 24 in the first half, 54%. Comparing it to Tennessee, they're 7 of 13, 54%. Purdue 36, Tennessee 34. We have reached halftime here in Detroit. Coors Light Halftime Report continues when we come back, including all of the halftime statistics presented by Ruoff Home Mortgage. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Unity Healthcare, a trusted pillar in the community for more than 25 years, offers healthcare services that you can depend on. With a team of over 80 highly skilled providers, Unity Healthcare is committed to making the best decisions for your health right here in your local community. Visit one of our many healthcare specialists or urgent care to meet your specific healthcare needs. www.unityhc.com because we believe in working together towards a healthier future. Unity Healthcare, healthier together. Water damage from a busted pipe can be a real nightmare in these frigid temps. For over 40 years, Hayes & Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So, when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes & Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesAndSons.com for more information. Domino's Mix and Match menu has items for every occasion. Flaked on your friend's open mic night? Flaky bread twists and molten lava cakes should do the trick. Soccer team duty? Medium two-topping pizzas and stuffed cheesy bread are your best defense. Is it your dog's half birthday? <laughs> Celebrate his biggest day with savory sandwiches and tender specialty chicken. Mix and match two or more items for $6.99 each at Domino's. Ask for this offer two item minimum prices, participation, delivery area, and charges may vary. Bone and wings, bread bowl, pasta, and pan pizza will cost extra. Local stores have delivery fees and can charge extra for some menu items. Keystone Cooperative is centered on delivering the farmer-owned cooperative of the future. Starting today, we're proud to be owned and operated by over 20,000 member owners. Keystone specializes in energy, home heat, agronomy, grain, animal nutrition, and swine production. And we remain centered on the valued relationships that have built and grown the cooperative for 100 years. Just like you, we're proud to back the boilers. Keystone Cooperative, centered on you. Thank you. 
This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by Purdue University. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the university and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the university. Halftime here in Detroit, where Purdue leads Tennessee 36-34. Purdue the one seed, Tennessee the two seed. This is our Coors Light Halftime Report. I'm Rob Blackman. Let's take a look at the halftime statistics. Presented by Ruoff Mortgage. Ruoff Mortgage is a proud supporter of Purdue basketball. Ruoff's top-notch customer service makes your home ownership dreams an easy reality. Apply online at ruoff.com. Tennessee shoots just 37.5% from the floor. Well, that's because they missed a bunch of shots inside of the arc. They didn't miss very many of them outside of the arc. 12 of 32 overall shooting is Tennessee, but they're 7 of 13 from 3. So Tennessee is 5 of 19 inside of the arc. That's 7 of 13 from outside the arc, 53.8%. Tennessee 3 of 5 at the free throw line. They are led in scoring all the volunteers by Dalton Connect. 18 points for him in the first half. He had 16 against Purdue for the entire game when Purdue and Tennessee played back in November. Eight points in the first half for Josiah Jordan James on a couple of made threes. Four points for Zakai Ziegler. Two for Jemai Meshack and two for Tobey Awaka. 16 total rebounds for Tennessee. Four of them offensively. It led to nine second chance points. Tennessee did a good job of turning those second chance opportunities into points. Ten assists in the first uh, first half for Tennessee on their 12 made baskets, including an impressive five assists from Zakai Ziegler. Ziegler has five assists, a team high, and a team high four rebounds as well. Just four first half turnovers for Tennessee. They had one, uh, four players, I should say, with one turnover apiece. Three block shots in the first half. Josiah Jordan James with two of those. Tobey Awaka had the other. For the uh, Purdue Boilermakers, they're 13 of 30 shooting, 43.3%. Purdue just one of eight from the three-point line, 12.5%. And again, this is the best three-point shooting team in the country by percentage at 41%. Purdue just one of eight in the first half. The one make coming from Braden Smith. Purdue did go 9 of 13 at the foul line, 69.2%. Boilermakers led in scoring by Zach Eady with 19 points. Also, they did credit, the official scorers did credit Zach Eady with the rebound right there at the end of the half as time was expiring. And that is significant because it gives Zach 10 rebounds, so he has a double-double at halftime. 19 points, 10 rebounds. Now 67 career double-doubles for Zach Eady. Also scoring for the Boilermakers, Braden Smith, who has nine points. He added six rebounds, two assists. Six points for Fletcher Lawyer, who has two assists. Two points for Trey Kaufman Wren. Lance Jones and Camden Heidi. Mason Gillis, Miles Colvin played but did not score. Purdue had only five first half turnovers, five players with one turnover apiece. Boilermakers had three steals in the first half, three players with one steal apiece. And Purdue was credited with one block shot. It was from Lance Jones. Purdue all told 25 rebounds, seven offensively. That led to four second chance points for the Boilermakers. Seven assists, by the way, on Purdue's 13 made baskets. Points off turnovers, Tennessee eight, Purdue four. Points in the paint, Purdue 24, Tennessee eight. Fast break points, four for the Volunteers, four for the Boilermakers. And off the bench, Tennessee has gotten just two points. That's from Tobey Awaka. Purdue has not had a point scored off of the bench. If you look back at that game back in November when Purdue and Tennessee played, Purdue had only three points off the bench in that game. But we are here at the half, and our halftime score is Purdue 36, Tennessee 34. Tennessee's biggest lead of the game was at 11 when they were leading Purdue 32 to 21 at the 5-11 mark, Purdue took a timeout, trailing 32-21, and went on a 15 to 2 run to end the half to give Purdue their current two point lead. We had six lead changes, four ties, and we are where we are. Halftime, 
here in Detroit, Purdue 36, Tennessee 34. This is the Coors Light Halftime Report. Coors Light, mountain cold refreshment made to chill. Official partner of Purdue Athletics, 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. When we return, Bobby Riddell will be back to the microphone. He'll have a look at our out-of-town scoreboard presented by your Central Indiana Honda dealers. That's next on the Coors Light Report. It's Purdue 36, Tennessee 34. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hancock County, Indiana, located just 15 minutes from downtown Indianapolis near I-70 and I-465, is open for business. Learn why we are one of the fastest growing communities in Indiana. With access to available land, infrastructure, transportation, and a regional airport, join other national brands like Amazon, Carvana, and Walmart, and discover why we are the best-kept secret in central Indiana. This message brought to you by the Hancock County Economic Development Council. Visit us at HancockEDC.com or at 317-477-7241. If you're a Boilermakers fan, you know that scoring big is everything. Few things feel as good as watching your team pass, shoot, and dribble their way to victory. Off the court, you can experience that same feeling with a Magnum tractor from Case IH. Magnum tractors match the power, speed, and strength of the best Boilermakers by helping you net every challenge that comes your way. Score big with a Magnum tractor this season by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Boilermakers to learn more. Boiler up! At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance, but not just any insurance. We're good at fireworks don't go in the attic insurance, hole in window insurance, even guy that shouldn't have a chainsaw but has a chainsaw insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Now's the time for a new Honda. Save thousands with 2.9% financing on a 2024 CRV. Full Honda inventory is here. Cars, SUVs, trucks, vans are all in stock. There's never been a better time to buy a new Honda. Save big with low payments or get your new Honda with 2.9% financing. Search your local Honda dealer today. See dealer financing details for qualified buyers offer in 2024. Here on the halftime show, where Purdue leads the Tennessee Volunteers 36 to 34. It's time now for our out of town score segment. And today's out of town scores are brought to you by your Central Indiana Honda dealers. We'll take a look at the scores from across the Elite Eight being played yesterday and today. Over in the East region yesterday, the number one seed Yukon Huskies take down the three seed Illinois Fighting Illini 77 to 52. A big blowout win for the Huskies coming in that game was a 30 to nothing run that spanned over the end of the second first half through the start of the second half. Over in the West region, UConn in the Final Four will play the Alabama Crimson Tide, the four seed in the West, as they defeated the six seed Clemson Tigers 89 to 82. As we move down to the South region, that's the other game that'll be played here later today. That game will tip at around 5.05 Eastern time on CBS. The fourth ranked or fourth seeded Duke Blue Devils in the South take on the Cinderella of the tournament, the 11 seeded North Carolina State Wolfpack, who have won five consecutive games in the ACC tournament that allowed them to qualify for the NCAA tournament. And they've taken advantage fully as they are now in the Elite Eight going against a conference rival, the Blue Devils, in that Elite Eight matchup. And they, the winner of that game, will take on the winner of this Purdue versus Tennessee matchup. Drive the road to win with Honda and have fun off the court with the most fun-to-drive vehicles. Your Central Indiana Honda dealers are proud supporters of Purdue Athletics. We'll take a look at the keys of the second half in just a moment when we return to the Coors Light Halftime Report. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. You work hard, and at First Farmers Bank and Trust, we work hard for you. Since 1885, we've committed to helping families, businesses, and communities thrive financially, from home to the office. 
to the field, to the arena. We value hard work and perseverance as much as you do. Experience banking built on heart and grit today. Learn more at ffbt.com. First Farmers is a proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Member FDIC, equal opportunity lender. This is Mason Gillis, Purdue men's basketball. For my friends at the Haldeman Companies, proud supporters of Purdue University. They use the same principles for success that Coach Panner teaches us. The importance of teamwork, execution, and tremendous effort are keys to success. Their team includes farm managers, appraisers, and real estate brokers with the experience, knowledge, and professionalism to help you accomplish your farm goals. Since 1930, if it has anything to do with the business of farming, Haldeman can help. Visit Halderman.com to learn more. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. This is your moment, your time to shine, your comeback. You're ready for the next step in your career, and you want an education employer's respect. So you're not just going back to school. You're coming back with Purdue Global. Backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected public universities, Purdue Global is built for people who bring their life experience into the online classroom. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. Almost time to start the second half. Purdue leading Tennessee 36-34. 19 first half points for Zach Eady. Means he has now tied Indiana's Steve Alford for fifth place all time. Big 10 career scoring. He and Steve Alford tied for fifth place in the history of Big 10 basketball. Rob Blackman here with Bobby Riddell, onside engineer Wes Scott, and Ethan Sargent, our in-studio audio engineer. Two-point Purdue lead. Boilermakers not shooting well first half from the arc. One of eight. Tennessee, seven of 13. It's a big difference maker in the game right now. Let's talk about second half runs, Bob. It's been a big part and a big story of this tournament. Friday night, Tennessee was trailing by one against Creighton, and the Vols had an 18-0 second half run to distance themselves from the Blue Jays. Last night, we saw UConn go on a 25-0 run to start the second half to blitz Illinois. These first five minutes of the second half, obvious statement here, very important. Very important indeed. Uh, you know, Purdue's got all, all the momentum as they hit, the way they ended that first half. But Tennessee, you know, they're going to try to rally and punch first here to start the second half. So big five minutes. Can Purdue go on a little run, push this thing out a little bit, get the crowd really into it? You know, we saw in that Gonzaga game Friday night, Purdue hit him with a burst and really got the crowd into it and was, you know, never looked back. So uh, going to be fascinating here. Can Purdue find a way to hit some perimeter shots, open up this Tennessee defense? That burst was really uh, spurned by Trey Kaufman Wren. Or spurred it, I should say, as he scored the first six in a row. Jaden Ivey's in the house, the Detroit Piston. They just showed him on the big screen, and the Purdue fans loved it. As Tennessee has the opening possession here the second half. Into connect, stolen. Stolen by Lance Jones. Purdue on the run. Jones attacking the basket. Layup, good! That's a pretty good start. A takeaway and a bucket. Purdue's up 38-34. Lance Jones out of nowhere. Sneaks behind connect on the on the pass. Trying to get connect on the block. Gets the steal. Runs the break down the left wing. Braden hits ahead. Deuce. Down low, a do on the baseline, challenging Edie out to connect to catch and shoot three. Good, Dalton connect answers. Twenty-one in the game for connect. Braden Smith, he digs down on a do, and that's what the coaches told him. They said when a do puts it on the floor, try to dig down and get it out of his hands. He's susceptible to the turnovers, but when you don't get it, you leave yourself susceptible. Inside Edie, Purdue turnover, bad pass. Mayshack left to right here. Lobbing for connect. His layup good, and just like that, Tennessee's up 39-38. 
Oh, the live ball turnover, just the ones that kill you the most. Purdue had done a pretty good job, only two, I think, in that first half from a live ball variety. Well, that time, another live ball that leads to the easy lay-in for Connect. Driving to the rim, stopping Braden Smith, lobbing into Edie, turning and shooting and scoring over Adu. Purdue in front, 40-39. to 39. Back and forth we go, 21 for Edie. Good job playing off two feet there, Braden Smith. Jump stop and get that ball inside to Zach Eady, who had deep position. 90 seconds into the second half, Purdue leading by one. Dalton connect, high right perimeter. Three steps outside the arc. Attacks Eady, kicks to Ziegler. Ziegler fakes a three, dribbles in and shoots a floater and missed it off the back of the rim. Trey Kaufman, Wren, rebounds for Purdue. Watermakers in their white uniforms right to left here in the second half. Watermakers up 40-39 to 39 after holding a two-point halftime lead. Braden Smith got poked in the eye, and that'll be a foul on Mayshack. They slapped him in the face by accident. Yeah, it was an accident, certainly, but it is his third foul. Boy, Braden's had a tough time today taking some physical fouls. Remember the first half, he got hit hard in the face. As Vescovy is going to sub in for Mayshack with the three fouls, this time he gets poked in the eye. Not That's a bad a big physical defender leaving the floor. Mescovy's a good one, though. Yep, all-time leading uh, steals leader for the Tennessee Volunteers, so obviously not a bad defender in his own right. Yeah, preseason All-American was Mescovy, so nice to bring a guy like that in off of the bench. High right elbow, a catch for Trey Kaufman Wren. He dribbles once, throws it into Edie. Edie against a triple team out to Lawyer. Lawyer fakes a three and dribbles in, shoots a floater that misses. Edie rebounds. He tries to go back to the rim and got hammered. Strong offensive rebound for Zach Edie. Foul will go against Josiah Jordan James, his second. And to the foul line will go Zach Edie. 17-38 to go in this game. Purdue 40, Tennessee 39. Purdue and Zach Eady, no surprise, active on the offensive glass. Good drive there by Fletch. Gets that tough little floater, doesn't fall. And Zach was there. But Zach leaves the first foul shot short. Purdue 25 rebounds in the first half, seven offensively to 16 total for Tennessee, four offensively. One more for Zach Eady, the seven foot four senior from Toronto. Dribbling once in that white uniform, bending the knees, shooting, and making the second one. It kind of bounced around a couple of times and fell in. Blues up 41-39. James right wing, Vescovy. Triple threat position for the left-hander. Got to connect. He throwed it way out, throws it way out high to uh, Ziegler. Almost threw it in the backcourt, but Ziegler saved it. Ziegler snake dribbles to the right elbow. He shoots a floater from there. He missed, but he was undercut while attempting that shot. And that will send to the foul line Zakai Ziegler. Braden Smith, the foul, his second. Well, even though Purdue, you hate picking up that foul and sending Ziegler to the line, there was a backside flare that was set by Vescovy on Dalton Connect's man. And Dalton Connect, as Ziegler does miss the free throw short, Connect was wide open on the right wing off that flare. Ziegler fortunately didn't see him. And now Purdue gets a break with him missing the first free throw. Purdue 41, Tennessee 39. Second foul shot, Ziegler is good. Ziegler five points. He had 18 against Creighton Friday night. Purdue's up a digit 41-40 with 17-15 to play. This is what we expected in an Elite Eight battle between the one seed and the two. Trey Kaufman ran a catch at the top of the key after stepping off his defender. Boy, Tennessee's really ratcheted up the defense. Inside to Edie, and there's a foul on the pass from Adu. Adu caught behind in the pass, wrapped up. Caught behind on the pass, wrapped up from the backside Edie. Third foul on Adu. He'll be subbed out of the game for Tobe Awaka, the 6'8", 250-pound sophomore. Awaka, the guy who I feel like has done the best job on Zach so far. He, he's the most physically strong of the bunch. Purdue inbounds to Edie. Trying to work on a walker from the block. Boy, this is strength on strength. Outside the lawyer, he reposts, throws it back into Edie. And there's the foul on a walker. He was doing the two forearm push, and the official looked right at him and he said, You can only use one forearm, not both. A walker did not take the official's uh, helpful hint and is called for the foul. A walker, man. He, this dude is a rock. Uh, not us. 
you know, ounce of fat on the guy, and he was so low trying to keep Zach from trying to get deep. Three fouls on a walker. Purdue throws it inside to Edie again on a walker. Out to Lawyer. He has an open three. Triple time! That's a Lawyer! That's a massive hit there from Fletch. Purdue desperately needing a three. Zach, all the attention after that foul, kicks it out cross court to Fletch. He was locked and loaded. 16-30 remains in the game. Here's a three for Connect at the other end. No. Rebounded Edie. And the ball is called a held ball. He and a walker were fighting for it. Now, from my vantage point, it looked like a walker had more forearm than ball, but I didn't have a great look. That's what the Purdue coaching staff seemed to think as well, but uh, you'll, you'll definitely be happy to at least have this possession from a Purdue standpoint because you got some good momentum on your side, and looks like Tennessee going to bring some full-court pressure that Purdue has handled well thus far. 16-24 to go in the game. Boilermakers 44, Tennessee 40. Remember when these two played in a thriller in 2019 in the Sweet 16 in Louisville at the Yum Center. Top of the key, Trey Kaufman Wren, right wing Lance Jones in the triple threat connect is on him. Lance dribbles out of some trouble. Now works his way between the circles, gives it up to Braden Smith. Shot clock at seven. Braden needs a ball screen. Will shoot a deep contested three. Miss it long, rebounded connect. That was great defense by Tennessee. Connect on the run, attacking the rim, fouled in the process. Braden Smith or Fletcher Lawyer, which one was it? Looks like Fletch. Second foul on Fletcher Lawyer, timeout on the floor. Connect at the foul line when we come back. 15.52 to go in the game. Purdue 44, Tennessee 40 on a Central Indiana Honda Dealers scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Keystone Cooperative is centered on delivering the farmer-owned cooperative of the future. Starting today, we're proud to be owned and operated by over 20,000 member owners. Keystone specializes in energy, home heat, agronomy, grain, animal nutrition, and swine production. And we remain centered on the valued relationships that have built and grown the cooperative for 100 years. Just like you, we're proud to back the boilers. Keystone Cooperative, centered on you. We Boilermakers show our pride in a number of ways. From a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with the Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. I get paid to do this. How cool is that? Wow. <laughs> like you get paid to be a coach. And for me, I don't think there's a place out there better for me than Purdue University. Hi, I'm Kate Young, host of This is Purdue, the official podcast of Purdue University. Over the last three years, my conversations with Boilermakers have been serious, informative, and in the case of that exchange with former Purdue basketball coach Gene Cady and current head coach Matt Painter, downright fun. Be sure to follow This is Purdue on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. Now's the time for a new Honda. Save thousands with 2.9% financing on a 2024 CRV. Full Honda inventory is here. Cars, SUVs, trucks, vans are all in stock. There's never been a better time to buy a new Honda. Save big with low payments or get your new Honda with 2.9% financing. Search your local Honda dealer today. See dealer for financing details for well-qualified buyers offer in 2024. This is Chase Martin, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. Purdue 44, Tennessee 40. Purdue men's basketball postseason it is sponsored by BW Fusion. Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion. And goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. Find out how to build your most powerful gallon in ag today at mpga.ag. BW Fusion, proud presenting sponsor of Purdue men's basketball postseason. As we resume action, Dalton Connect will be at the foul line with two shots for Tennessee. Connect has scored 23 points. Zach Eady has scored 22. Both playing like first-team All-Americans. And I tell you what, when Connect gets coming downhill at you in transition, very similar to Terrence uh, Shannon Jr. Yes. at Illinois. Look out, man. He is a freight train. Yeah, it's, it's problematic, no question. And He's got the ability to obviously use the athleticism and size and attack the rim, or of course he's such a great shooter. If you just give too much ground, he can stop and pop. 
Uh, he, he's terrifying, and unfortunately for Purdue, he's getting ready to shoot two free throws. He stepped to the line wearing number three on that orange uniform and makes that first foul shot, and his shooting form is just so flawless. Yep. Very smooth. How was this guy's second team all Big Sky Conference last year at Northern Colorado? What? Missed the second one. Long rebound. Uh, grabbed by whom? Tennessee. Ziegler three for the tie. No good. Long rebound. Edie got it. He had to wrestle his way through two orange jerseys. Bruce dodges a major bullet there. Offensive rebound gave Ziegler an open three, but it couldn't connect. Bruce up 44-41. And a foul in the backcourt. Jordan Ganey was hands-on with Braden Smith. Those fouls starting to mount now for the Volunteers' fifth team foul. And wow, Purdue, you said dodged a bullet. Purdue got really lucky because there was two guys wide open for Tennessee on, after that offensive rebound when, when they were had the chance to swing it. Dalton connect, top of the key, Ziegler left wing. Connect, of course, unguarded. Fortunately, the pass goes to Ziegler. He misses and connect didn't get the shot. Purdue now in the front court. Lance Jones, the ball handler. Purdue up 44-41 at the 15-25 mark. The winner heads to Arizona. Driving, Lance Jones to the rim, layup good. Right down the right side of the lane. Four points in the second half for Lance Jones. Purdue's up 46-41. I love the ball screen there. Awaka's doing a good job not letting Zach get deep post position. Get him away from the basket, Lance attacks. Ziegler, perimeter left, top of the key, connect. Standing on the March Madness logo, guarded by Lance Jones. Using a screen left side, Awaka. Now to gain, he lost it for a moment, got it back. Up high it goes. Ziegler, three on the shot clock. Will drive, lose his balance, pick it up. Shot clock at one, he shoots a contested air ball, and that will be a shot clock violation. Turnover, Tennessee. Lance Jones encourages the Purdue fans. Rise to your feet. Purdue's up 46-41 with the ball. Just an unbelievable defensive possession there by, by Purdue. Really active, taking away the actions of Tennessee, and then good on-ball defense there. Purdue quickly to Braden Smith, racing up the floor right to left. Ziegler guarding him. What a battle this has been between Ziegler and Braden Smith. Quick on quick, tough on tough. Both have held their own today. 14.30 to go in the game. Here's Braden Smith with the right elbow. Stops the dribble. Finds his teammate Lawyer further perimeter right. Top of the key, Lance Jones. Left side, Gillis. He rifles it inside to Edie. Edie to Mason. Back inside it goes to Edie. Now out to Lance Jones with a catch and shoot three. It is up and no good. Rebounded Edie. He goes back. He misses a potential layup. Rebounded Mason Gillis. Out to Lawyer. Open three. It's no good. Rebounded. No, a foul. A foul on Tennessee as Zach Edie was fighting tooth and nail to grab an offensive rebound. That one is on Tobey Walker. His fourth. Purdue gets two really good looks from three. Can't connect on either, but you love Mason Gillis and Zach Eady just attacking the offensive glass with, with abandon. And now another offensive possession here for Purdue under out of bounds. 16 foul on Tennessee, so one and one the rest of the way. Boy, Purdue, let's make a couple of threes, what do you say? Boy, to make us up 46-41. 14 minutes exactly remaining in the game. Fletcher Lawyer dribbles right baseline, goes strong, shoots a layup, no good. Wait a minute, are we going to have a bucket? No. The ball was tipped in by Edie after the miss, but the reason the original shot was missed, because Ziegler fouled from behind on Lawyer. Lawyer went strong to the baseline, right baseline layup, no good. Tipped in by Edie, but wipe off the tip in because Ziegler had fouled Lawyer on the layup. And that is the correct call. Fletcher got across the arm on that drive. I thought they missed it at first. And Fletch misses a free throw. That rarely happens. 86% foul shooter. Lance Jones out of the game, replaced by the redshirt freshman Camden Heidi from Minnesota. Fletch has nine points in the game. Now 10 as he made that one. Blew up 47-41. 13.50 remains in the game. Into the game, J.P. Estrella, the 6'11 freshman for Tennessee with a walker having four fouls. Connect, right wing, attacks from the block, goes right at Edie and misses, and Edie gets the rebound. He was aggressive attacking Edie, but couldn't connect. 
Purdue on a run here. Into the corner. Gillis has an open three. It's long. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Zach Eady. Mason Gillis, this season a 48% three-point shooter. He just can't find the range so far here from three in this game. He's 0 for 3. Just a really nice push ahead by Purdue. You get Mason in the corner. A great pump fake. The guy flies by, but Mason just, as you said, hasn't quite found the range, but Purdue still got good intensity here. 13-20 to go. Ziegler snake dribble to Ganey a three. Good. Jordan Ganey from the right wing. It's his first scoring of the game. Just like that, Purdue 47, Tennessee 44. Tennessee making their three-point shots. Purdue has not. And a steal. Ziegler a steal. Two on one for Tennessee, and Ziegler will lay it in. It's a one-point lead for Purdue. That is a brutal live ball turnover. Really not even close. Tennessee easy steal. And then the two on one, Ziegler finishes as Braden tried to guess he might pass. Purdue 47, Tennessee 46, 12-40 mark. Purdue had a six-point lead. Now it's down to one. The three for Ganey and then the layup for Ziegler. Lawyer, good from the right wing, 13 feet away. That's a huge response there. Ganey, down the right side of the paint, shoots a floater. It's in and out, tipped around, grab Lawyer, giving it Braden Smith of Purdue. 12.20 to go in the game. Purdue on the run, right to left in their white uniforms. With a script, Purdue written in black across the chest. Edie caught the ball in traffic, laid it in off a perfect pass from Braden Smith. That was a tough catch in traffic, but somehow Edie came away with the ball. I wasn't sure that pass was going to get through, but it found the arms of Big Z. He lays it in with the right hand on the right side. Purdue 51, Tennessee 46, Ziegler a deep three. No, Edie a rebound. Questionable shot there. Edie 16 rebounds to go with 24 points. 11.45 remains. Clock ticking. Purdue 51, Tennessee 46. Braden Smith to the right elbow, bounces it inside to Edie. He was fouled by Estrella, timeout on the floor. 11.39 to go in the game. This will be a foul shooting opportunity for Edie when we come back to Detroit. Purdue 51, Tennessee 46 on the Central Indiana Honda Dealers scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Talking on the phone is difficult if you've been exposed to loud noises over time. Combat veterans, factory workers, farmers, gun and motorcycle enthusiasts can have trouble hearing on the telephone. Relay Indiana helps return clarity to your phone conversations. Relay Indiana also provides free loaned equipment to those who qualify. Get the CapTel Caption Telephone from Relay Indiana. Visit RelayIndiana.com now. Water damage from a busted pipe can be a real nightmare in these frigid temps. For over 40 years, Hayes & Sons has been restoring water damage in Indiana homes and businesses. They'll help you navigate your insurance claim and get your life back on track. So, when a water disaster strikes, tell your insurance agent you want Hayes & Sons for your restoration work. Visit HayesAndSons.com for more information. Lafayette Limo, family owned, women owned, serving Crater Lafayette for over 33 years. Shuttles to and from Indianapolis and O'Hare airports 365 days a year. Make your reservations now at LafayetteLimo.com. Charters of all sizes anywhere in the continental USA. Lafayette Limo, proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Just sit back and let us drive. There's no need to compromise your ride to relaxation. Lafayette Limo. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance, but not just any insurance. We're good at... No, 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 no. Did you forget the parking brake? Yes, you forgot the parking brake. Insurance. When the forecast calls for cheese ball size hail insurance. Even shouldn't have parked under that tree. Insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Don't miss a moment of Purdue basketball during the NCAA tournament this year on our network of radio affiliates. Also, out-of-market fans can listen to exclusive national coverage by Westwood One, plus our broadcast through the multicast option on the Varsity Network app. Download for free in your app store and catch all of the action from anywhere. Purdue 51, Tennessee 46, 11:39 remains at the game. 
Zach Eady will be at the line for a one and one when we come back after pausing 10 seconds for station identification. This is Boilermaker basketball from Learfield. Purdue, the best three-point shooting team in the nation by percentage is 2 of 13. Yet, man, has a five-point lead. Tennessee, 9 of 19. Well, Tennessee was able to win an NCAA tournament game against Texas earlier this tournament with a horrendous three-point shooting performance. They shot 12% in that game and found a way to win. Through right now with that five-point cushion. And Zach Eady fouled shooting. on the, They called it on the shot. So we gotcha. will have two free throws here. Uh, the eighth team foul on Tennessee. A chance to expand this lead here a little bit. I thought that was a one and one. Thank you for the correction, partner. Edie is six of eight at the line today. And now he's six of nine as that one goes begging off the right side of the rim. Mason Gillis playing right now with Camden Heidi, Zach Edie, Lance Jones, and Fletcher Lawyer. For the moment, Braden Smith getting a rest on the bench. Second foul shot for Big Z. Good. Blue leads 52-46. Tennessee the ball. Ziegler over the timeline left to right. Heidi guards him. Top of the key. This is Estrella. Swings it left side. Connect. Uses a screen from Estrella. Shoots from 18 feet at the elbow. In and out. Around and out. No good. Last touch. Tennessee. Boy, how did that not go in for Dalton Connect? He can't believe it. Neither can I. Now, with Braden Smith out of the game, What's Purdue going to do here against this full-court press? Definitely a little dicey here. Full-court pressure with no Braden. Or Heidi caught it in the backcourt. He'll race it up the far sideline. It, it didn't look pretty, but it worked. It had the Purdue coaching staff. I think uh, their hearts were skipping a beat. But Purdue does break the press. And now Lance Jones runs the point guard with this group, guarded by Ganey. Throws it inside to Edie, guarded by Estrella. Outside to Gillis. Gillis wants a clear out, so he can throw it back in to Edie. Here it is into Edie against Estrella. Will turn, drop step, and score with a left hand. What a move by Edie. What a move is right, the drop step. Just a little piece of his arsenal. Doesn't go to it off him, but right there at a critical time, left-handed layup. 54-46 Purdue with 10.40 to go. Left wing, James fakes the three. Now to connect, catch and shoot three. In and out, no good. Rebounded Gillis. Connect is so good on those catch and shoot threes, but that one doesn't go. Purdue up eight with the ball with 10.27 remaining. Purdue fans on their feet. Purdue trailed by 11 with five minutes to go in the first half. Purdue now leads by eight. Driving, Lance Jones to the rim, block shot. Excellent defense, Tennessee. They have a three on one. Ziegler for connect, layup good. Great defense by Estrella. His block shot puts Tennessee into transition. Purdue up 54-48, 10 minutes remaining in the game. Lance Jones to Gillis, top of the key. He gives the lawyer left side Heidi. Heidi lobs into Edie. Edie against Estrella. Fakes a pass. Kicks out to Lawyer. Throws it right back into Edie. Got it. Lost it. Out of bounds. Last touch by, they say, Purdue. Oh, no, a foul. A foul on Purdue. Not a turnover. Uh, not a uh, out of bounds play, but it, it's going to be a turnover. But it's also going to be a foul here on Zach Eady, his first. Now, Purdue just a little bit frantic there on that possession. It felt like a good active hands by Tennessee to, to make Zach lose that basketball. Fortunately, Zach not in any sort of foul issues at the moment. But a big stop there for the Vols. And now this is a big, big possession here. 940 point lead. Purdue wants to be able to keep this momentum here. Tell you what, give credit to the 6'11 freshman, J.P. Estrella, holding his own against Zach Eady. Estrella normally plays about four minutes a game, but he's getting some big run here for the Volunteers. 9.30 to go, Purdue up six. Connect to the right block, kick out to Ziegler. Faking a three, dribbles in, kicks it way out wide for Ganey. Shot faking a three for Ganey is good. And it's a three-point Purdue lead. Six points in the game for Jordan Ganey. Purdue 54, Tennessee 51. Back and forth we go. 
Danny, one of those talented scorers who the percentages don't seem to add up. He's only a 28% three-point shooter, but he's a big-time shooter. Driving all the way to the rim, Braden Smith, layup no good. Out of bounds, last touch, Tennessee, baseline left. Purdue coaching staff begging with Braden to come to a two-foot jump, jump stop there, and you're going to have a lot of options. Purdue, in, uh, Purdue will inbound, baseline left, 9-0-1 to play. The trigger man, Lance Jones, pops it way out high for Braden Smith, and it is stolen, stolen by Tennessee. Connect, a drive, and a layup, and now it's a one-point Purdue lead, 54-53. The live ball turnovers are catching up with the Boilermakers. Purdue's going to take a timeout here. Purdue will get to midcourt and call timeout with 8.45 remaining. Tennessee fans are on their feet. Purdue 54, Tennessee 53. 8.45 remains in the game on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. You know you've got a comeback in you. When you take the next step, you're going to make it count for your career, for your family, for your life. You can earn a degree you're proud of with Purdue Global. Purdue Global is backed by Purdue University, one of the nation's most respected and innovative public universities. This is your chance. This is your opportunity. This is your comeback. Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback today at purdueglobal.edu. Hey, Purdue fans. Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. We've simplified product selection to create a personalized gallon that's crafted for your specific crop, problem areas, budget, and more. It enhances your farm's profitability, 30-plus years of crop nutrition data, and industry leadership. Build your most powerful gallon in ag with BW Fusion today at mpga.ag. Let's get back to the action. Boiler up. Franciscan Health is proud to be the official medical provider for Purdue Athletics. Does a sudden sports injury have you on the bench? We can assist. Franciscan Health sports medicine specialists have mastered a team approach to sports injuries. You'll have access to a network of orthopedic professionals, rehabilitation services, and highly advanced technologies and treatments to get you back out on the field. To learn more, visit franciscanhealth.org slash sportsmedicine. That to-do list you have needs one more thing. Chill. It's an easy thing to do. Just crack open an ice-cold Coors Light and chill. Take the afternoon off and binge watch anything. Go to happy hour and stay for a couple hours. Who's counting anyways? Or hang out with just your dog because you've had enough human interaction this week. Whatever you do, do it with a Coors Light. Mountain cold refreshment made to chill. 2024 Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Celebrate responsibly. This is TKR, and you're listening to Purdue Basketball. For all you golfers out there, the Ackerman Allen Course at Burke Boilermaker Golf Complex is open. Come out and enjoy an early spring round. 2024 memberships still available. Book your tee time or join today at PurdueGolf.com. Purdue 54, Tennessee 53. The Volunteers are on a 7-0 run. Purdue is up 54-46 with the ball. But Tennessee has taken advantage of some live ball turnovers. Purdue now nine turnovers. How about 17 Tennessee points off nine Purdue turnovers? Difference maker right there. It certainly has been. The live ball turnovers really costly here for Purdue. Kinnett's gotten out in, in transition and scored a ton of points here in this second half, uh, which is unfortunate because they've done a, a much better job on him in general in the half court. But he's been able to steal some points in transition than Jordan Ganey, just two really critical triples for this Tennessee team when they were getting a little bit desperation mode as Purdue had built that six, eight-point lead. And Ganey, a couple triples, big-time shots. Purdue inbounding far sideline, throwing it into the front court. Braden Smith, who's now guarded here by Jemai Meshack. Ziegler getting a rest. He rarely comes out of the game. He's out of the game for the moment. Gillis looked at a three, instead throws it inside, out to Heidi. Now Braden Smith in the right corner, guarded by a connect, throws it into Edie against Estrella. Turns and shoots with the left hand and misses the hook shot. A lot of contact in there. Matt Painter was looking for a call, couldn't get it. And our volunteers have the ball. Man, that's a lot of contact. 
Jordan Ganey front court dribbling guarded by Camden Heidi. Top of the key, Josiah Jordan James in the triple threat position. Dribbles once, swings it right side. Ganey the catch at the eight minute mark. Purdue leading by one. Ganey stops and pops from the left elbow and shoots a near air ball. It's lost out of bounds. Last touch by Estrella of Tennessee. And we have another commercial timeout. On the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard, Purdue 54, Tennessee 53. 7.53 remains in the game. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hi, Katie Geralds here, head women's basketball coach at Purdue University. I'm a proud graduate of our College of Liberal Arts. My degree prepared me to connect with people and communicate well on and off the court, skills I use every day. I'm excited about the Degree Plus program, which allows all Purdue students to earn a Bachelor of Science degree and one from liberal arts and still graduate in four years. This and one can be a game changer. Check out the College of Liberal Arts Degree Plus program to see if this and one is a winner for you. We Boilermakers show our pride in a number of ways, from a Purdue flag flying high on game day to a black and gold tie worn to the office. That loyalty is built on precious memories, time-honored traditions, and lifelong friendships. It's everlasting, and it stays with you wherever you go. So whether you're at Mackey Arena, your hometown grocery store, or across the country, the pride is always there. And now with the Purdue Federal Visa Signature Card, you have one more way to show your pride. Purdue Federal, the official credit card for Purdue fans everywhere. Federally insured by NCUA. At Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance, we're good at insurance. But not just any insurance. We're good at... Don't go in the attic. Insurance. Hole in. Window. Insurance. Even. Guy that shouldn't have a chainsaw, but has a chainsaw. Insurance. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. The time to save is now. It's Ford Truck Month at your local Ford dealer. And right now, we're offering special deals on all remaining 2023 Ford F-150s in stock. That's right. Get great incentives on the best-selling trucks in America for 47 straight years. But you can't wait. This is a limited-time offer, and it's your last chance to save big on a 2023 Ford F-150. Check out all the great Truck Month deals at buyfordnow.com. And then get over to your local Ford dealer today. Purdue 54, Tennessee 53. 7.53 remains in the game. You're good at being you, and Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance is good at your insurance. Find an agent to help you or get a quote today at infb.com. Start with Indiana Farm Bureau Insurance and stop knocking on wood. Purdue is dominating the rebounding at 39-21. But nine turnovers have led to 17 Tennessee points. And the fact that Tennessee is shooting it well from the three-point line at 10 of 21, while Purdue is 2 of 13 from three, has made this problematic for our Boilermakers with 7.53 to go. So, yeah, to think Purdue would be plus 15 in the possession battle when you factor in rebounds and turnovers and only be up one point. Definitely not what you'd expect considering that margin, but the three-point shot, the ultimate equalizer, and then the way Tennessee scoring off Purdue's turnovers has been critical as well. Purdue inbounding baseline right, working right to left against the full-court pressure from the Volunteers. Mayshack now guarding Braden Smith. They've gone with a bigger defender in the 6'4 Mayshack, 200 pounds guarding Smith. Over the timeline right to left. Top of the key catch, Trey Kaufman, Wren. Lawyer will lob it into Edie. Edie on Estrella will spin. He'll shoot and score with a left hand. Purdue 56, Tennessee 53. That's a big time drop step there by Zach to get to that left shoulder. They're playing the right shoulder so hard. He should go to that counter move often. Mayshack holding top of the key. Now retreat dribbling, guarded by Trey Kaufman. Wren gives the connect. He goes to the left elbow and threw it away. Stolen by Braden Smith, then taken right back by Mayshack. Tennessee will get an open three from Connect and make it. Purdue had it, gave it back, and we have a tie game at 56. What a huge play there for Tennessee. Felt like maybe some contact there at midcourt with Braden Smith that goes uncalled and it leads to the triple in the corner for Connect. 6.52 remaining. Braden Smith with Mayshack on him. 
Bob's inside to Edie. Will they run a double team at Zach against Estrella? Nope. He'll stop. He'll turn. He'll shoot with a right hook. It was long. Estrella rebounds. Tied at 56. 635 remaining. Tennessee can take the lead if they can put a point on the board. Connect. Left elbow. Shooting. Long. Rebounded. Lance Jones. Gives to Braden Smith. Pushing tempo up that far sideline. Here comes Braden. Gives to Lance. Back to Braden. Between the rings. Braden wanted to shoot a three. Decided against it. Shot clock at 18. 6.15 to go in the game. 56-56 the score. Purdue lobbing into Edie on the right block against Estrella. Out high to Lawyer. Right back into Edie who reposts. Spins, shoots with the left hand and made it. Purdue up by two. Once again, great job going to the counter. Going to that right shoulder with the left hand. He loses his defender. Purdue ahead 58-56, 5.50 to go. Fans on their feet for both the Volunteers and the Boilermakers. The fans for both sides have been great in this one tonight. Estrella catching a dunk on a high ball screen. He dove to the bucket. We're tied. First scoring of the game for J.P. Estrella. A smart play there by Connect. Doesn't try to take on Zach Eady this time at the rim. Finds the rolling Estrella. A high lob to the rim. Easy flush. Lance Jones lobs into Edie from the left wing. Edie, does he want to attack Estrella? He does. Shoots with the right hand. This one's short. Knocked out of bounds. Baseline left. Last touch by Trey Kaufman-Wren. Tennessee the ball. Purdue will sub in Mason Gillis at the 5-14 mark. Edie comes out. No, Edie won't come out of the game. Trey Kaufman-Wren will come out of the game. Yeah. Zach was like, wait, you're coming to get me in this moment? No. Mason was actually just going to give Zach a pep talk is what he was doing. 5-14 to play. Purdue 58, Tennessee 58. Volunteers have the possession going left to right here in their orange uniforms. It's a no surprise this game coming out of the wire. Yep, no surprise. Tennessee the two seed, Purdue the one. They played a very close game. In Honolulu in November, it's close here tonight. Connect from 15 feet away, short. Edie had it, lost it. It's loose on the floor. Who's going to grab it? Edie still has it. And now we have a held ball. Edie had it for a second. Connect knocked it away from him. Possession arrow favors Tennessee. They'll have the ball baseline right. Zach Eady almost had that rebound with two hands. It gets squirted free. And a big extra possession now here for Tennessee in this tie game. Purdue will have the arrow moving forward. 4.53 remaining. 31 points for Connect. 31 points for Zach Eady. The two All-Americans have been dynamite today for their respective teams. Connect, a three off of a screen, left wing, in and out, no good. Edie a rebound, and he was pulled to the ground as he was grabbing the rebound. The foul is pulled against Tennessee. This will be a one-and-one one for Edie. Who's the foul on? Awaka grabbing his jersey. It was, I could see it clear as day from here. I was wondering if a whistle was coming. Fifth foul on Tobey Awaka. He fouls out of the game. That's a big call. And it's been good. J.P. Estrella will sub right back in for Tennessee. They have gotten great minutes tonight from J.P. Estrella, the freshman. And now he's going to have to go the distance, it looks like, with a walker out of the game with five fouls. And they've gone away from their starter, Jonas Adu. Jonas Adu at, at center. He's got three fouls and just has not been very productive for them. Josiah Jordan James will sub in for Jemai Meshack. 4.42 to play. We're tied at 58. Ninth team foul on Tennessee, so this is a one and one for Zach Eady. He has 31 points and 16 rebounds, and now he has 32 points. Purdue has a one point lead at 59 58. Wow, that is a pressure packed one and one free throw, and that's big. No more one and ones for Purdue the rest of this game. Double bonus. And Zach gets one more here. Dribbles once with that right hand. Let's it fly. That one was long and not good. Rebounded Josiah Jordan James. Purdue 59, Tennessee 58. And a timeout, Tennessee with 436 remaining. We'll keep it here. Purdue has only committed three team fouls. We'll see how that uh, factors in here late. 
4.36 to go, Purdue 59, Tennessee 58. And again, the story of the game, Purdue, the best three-point shooting team in the country. In this game is 2 of 13 from 3, 15%. As a Purdue fan, you keep waiting for that water to find its level right. in the three-point shooting. If it's going to happen, it's going to have to happen in a hurry now. And somebody wearing the black and gold stick a huge three here late in this game to help propel Purdue to a victory. Purdue was wearing out, you know, going to Zach Eady every time. And uh, that makes a lot of sense. Zach, the National Player of the Year, he's carried you all year. And uh, Dalton connect has been taking a lot of shots for the balls. The best players are going back and forth. A lot of tired legs, you would think, at this point in the game on both sides. I mean, just look at the numbers. Zach Eady, 32 and 16. Dalton Connect, 31 points, three rebounds. Connect will be the inbounder, far sideline in front of the Tennessee bench. Throws it into Ziegler in the front court. And we're back to action. Purdue up 59-58. Purdue was up 54-46, and the Vols came fighting right back. Connect. Kick it left side, Josiah Jordan-James. Faking a three, dribbling in from 15 feet and missing. Rebounded Mason Gillis. Mason did a good job of running him off the three-point line because Josiah Jordan-James did make two threes in the first half. We're down to 4.07 remaining. Raiden Smith dribbling on the center circle. The logo that says March Madness. Bounces it into Edie. Edie on Estrella. Had it taken away and a foul was called. That's team foul number 10. Josiah Jordan James tried to double down, but he raked the forearm, the right forearm of Edie. And we have timeout on the floor. 3.56 to play. If you still have some fingernails, feel free to keep chewing on them. Purdue 59, Tennessee 58 on the Central Indiana Honda Dealer scoreboard. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Blue Global Sports Network from Learfield. You work hard. And at First Farmers Bank and Trust, we work hard for you. Since 1885, we've committed to helping families, businesses, and communities thrive financially. From home to the office, to the field, to the arena. We value hard work and perseverance as much as you do. Experience banking built on heart and grit today. Learn more at ffbt.com. First Farmers is a proud sponsor of Purdue Athletics. Member FDIC, Equal Opportunity Lender. I get paid to do this. How cool is this? Wow. It's like me <laughs> getting paid to be a coach. And for me, I don't think there's a place out there better for me than Purdue University. Hi, I'm Kate Young, host of This is Purdue, the official podcast of Purdue University. Over the last three years, my conversations with Boilermakers have been serious, informative, and in the case of that exchange with former Purdue basketball coach Gene Cady and current head coach Matt Painter, downright fun. Be sure to follow This is Purdue on your favorite podcast app or on YouTube. If you're a Boilermakers fan, you know that scoring big is everything. Few things feel as good as watching your team pass, shoot, and dribble their way to victory. Off the court, you can experience that same feeling with a Magnum tractor from Case IH. Magnum tractors match the power, speed, and strength of the best Boilermakers by helping you net every challenge that comes your way. Score big with a Magnum tractor this season by visiting your local Case IH dealer or go to caseih.com slash Boilermakers to learn more. Boiler up! Higher yield potential starts with the season-long systemic disease protection of Zyway brand fungicides from FMC. Zyway brand fungicides protect corn crops from key foliar diseases and support physiological benefits that help develop healthier, higher yielding corn for a difference you'll appreciate at harvest. Visit your FMC retailer for an at-plant advantage. Always read and follow all label directions. Zach Eady has 32 points. He's first team All-American. Dalton Connect has 31 points. He's a first team All-American. These two heavyweights have traded punches all afternoon long. 3.56 remains in the game. Purdue 59, Tennessee 58. What a game it has been here at the Little Caesars Arena. Tennessee has never been to a Final Four. Purdue hasn't been since 1980. 
And these two teams are fighting and scrapping, knowing that a Final Four date awaits the winner. Just a heavyweight fight we've seen here. It's a lot of contact both ways. And Zach Eady now going to the line. Two huge ones here on double bonus. Let's see if he can convert. Eady on the floor with Gillis, Lance Jones, Fletcher Lawyer, Braden Smith. Connecting Ziegler for Tennessee, playing alongside Estrella, Jordan Ganey, and Josiah Jordan James. One bounce of the ball for Eady, free throw, good. 33 in the game for Zach. His career high is 35, a, thir a season high, season high 35. He did that twice this year, once at Michigan, once at Northwestern. And a second foul shot. That one is in and out and back in again. Zach claps his hands together to say, oh, thank you for a fortunate roll. But who's up three. 3.55 to go, and the fans are on their feet. Every one of them in this building standing on their feet. Connect. Looked at a three right wing, decided against it. Gets a screen from Estrella. Dribbles to the right elbow and leans in, shoots a floater. He was fouled. The shot didn't go, but he was fouled by Fletcher Lawyer. That easily could have been an and one. Three fouls on Fletcher. Two foul shots coming now for Dalton Connect. Wasn't a ton of contact there on Connect. Maybe a little bit across the arm. Purdue's fourth team foul. Connect with number five on that orange uniform. Man, is he a pure shooter. He has 32 points after making that free throw. He had 24 against Creighton Friday night. He's been even better here today. It's making both foul shots. 33 in the game for him. Purdue throws it in the backcourt to Lance Jones. He's going to bring it up the floor with 3.35 remaining. Clock ticking, Purdue 61, Tennessee 60. Catch on a right wing made by Braden Smith. Now he'll put Purdue into offense. Dribbles high right elbow. Goes all the way to the rim. Shot blocked, but it went right into the hands of Edie, who dunked it in. Was it a pass or a shot? I'm not sure. That was a pass by Braden. Dropped that thing over the top of Estrella, and I'm not sure how it got past Estrella's hands. Barely did. Connect a three on the right wing to Ty Long. Rebounded Mason Gillis. He had an open look, but it was long. Purdue rebounds. Three minutes remaining. Clock ticking. Purdue up by three. Long way to go in Detroit. What a thriller it has been. Braden Smith. Fake to three. Gives it up top side to Lance Jones. He throws it right back to Braden. Braden wants to clear out with a shot clock at eight. Gets a screen. Kick to Lance Jones. His three on the way. Triple! Oh, we needed that one, baby. Wow, what a massive shot by LJ. Right wing, Braden Smith driving kick. Lance ready to shoot. Blew up 66-60. Connect will drive. Fouled on the drive by Lance Jones. Sorry, that's that's right. only, to give. only five team fouls. 2.26 on the game clock. Blew up 66-60. Still a long way to go in the Motor City. Tennessee will inbound baseline right. They will sub in Jemai Mashak to replace Jordan Ganey. Let's see what play they'll run here out of bounds baseline right. Fifth team foul, so one more still to give for Purdue. Lance Jones just produced third and eight three of the game. Purdue at 21% from three. Here's a three from Connect. This one on the right wing also misses. Oh, Purdue has gotten lucky twice in a row with Connect missing threes from the right wing, his kill spot. Purdue with the ball up 66-60 with 2.12 to go. Possession by possession we go. Dribbling Braden Smith using a screen near the top of the key. Out to Lawyer. His three on the way. It's long, but rebounded by Braden Smith. A long rebound gives Purdue a second opportunity with 1.55 remaining. Lawyer on the right wing. Got knocked to the floor by Connect, but couldn't get a call away from the ball. Driving. Edie catches it. He's fouled on his way to the rim off a beautiful pass from Braden Smith. Did you see what happened away from the ball? Connect with a forearm shiver to Lawyer. Lawyer went to the floor, looked right at the official, and said, what is going on here? And the official, Ray Natilli, looked at him and said, "It's a, I don't know what he said, but it looked like he said, this is a big boys game. Get up and let's keep playing. 
Edie at the line for two foul shots. Purdue up 66-60. Purdue a big offense rebound there. Flash had such a nice clean look to uh, potentially give Purdue a nine-point lead. It rattles in and out. But Purdue, Braden Smith in ball screen action. Hits a diving Zach Edie. Gets fouled. A couple big free throws here for Zach. First one on the way. Good. Three possession game. Zach Eady has 37 points and 16 rebounds. The Small reigning lineup here now for Tennessee. Reigning national player of the year, Zach Eady. And as you said, Tennessee goes small. They're going to want some three point shooting. 146 remaining. Zach made them both. Purdue up 68 60. Zach Eady raising his hands. He wants the crowd to get involved. Here comes Tennessee, left to right, attacking. Ziegler, left wing, guarded by Lance Jones, out to Meshack. Meshack trying to get the ball to connect. Purdue won't let it happen. Ziegler will drive to the rim. Layup, good. 129 to go. Timeout, Tennessee. Ziegler, the layup. Purdue 68, Tennessee 62, 128 to play. What happened there, Zach Eady could have come over from the weak side, but he was a step late. And instead of take or run the risk of maybe an and one, Zach laid off and allowed Ziegler to make a layup and did not give him the opportunity at a three-point play. Timeout, Tennessee. The Volunteers have one timeout remaining. Purdue has two timeouts remaining. The possession arrow favors Purdue. It's Purdue 68, Tennessee 62. 128 remains in the game. The winner off to the final four. And this is where the clock, obviously working very much in Purdue's favor. The, the press break here is paramount. Obviously, Tennessee, you would assume, going to bring full court pressure here because if Purdue's even able just to run 30 seconds off the shot clock in this case, even if you don't get a bucket, you know, you'd be up six with a minute to go and obviously love that situation overall. But a bucket for Purdue you know, puts Tennessee in deep, deep trouble. But this press break, first and foremost, has to be Purdue's best execution of the year. Purdue has 10 turnovers in this game. The first game against Tennessee in November, Purdue turned it over 16 times. 128 remains. Purdue baseline right, attacking the bucket to our left, and here's that full court press Bobby Buckets was talking about. Purdue into the corner to Smith to Edie on a catch, and they foul Edie. Estrella fouled him on the catch. I don't think they wanted a foul there. They would rather try to trap Zach Eady. But Estrella committed his second foul going for the steal. And to the foul line will go Zach Eady, who in this game has 38 points and 16 rebounds. And coach Lusk, the assistant coach for Purdue, telling their players, keep up the intensity defensively. No easy threes. And some break free throws here for Zach. You, you hate having no, very little time come off the clock. Only three seconds did, but no turnover and getting to shoot free throws. You're content with that situation now. One dribble, foul shot short. Left that one short. Right now, Zach at 38 points. That matches his career high. He had 38 as a junior at Michigan State. And this Purdue. is a big one here to get it to three possessions. Purdue 68, Tennessee 62. 125 remains in the game. One bounce of the ball, the right-handed shot on the way, good. 39 for Zach Eady, a career high. Purdue fans on their feet again with 1.20 to go, clock ticking. Tennessee the ball, Ziegler to connect. Dribbling to the left wing and stopping, giving to Meshack back to connect. Now attacking the rim and making a layup. Zach Eady let him go, didn't want to attempt an and one potential foul. Purdue in the backcourt to Braden Smith, racing up the near sideline. Ganey's trying to trap him, but he was able to get out of it. Braden gives to Lawyer. One minute to go in the game. Purdue 69, Tennessee 64. For the moment, Tennessee is not fouling. Shot clock at 16, game clock at 52. Top of the key, Gillis. Left wing, Lawyer. Inside, Edie. Edie against Meshack. Five on the shot clock. Will spin. He was fouled. They're going to wipe off the bucket. He didn't make it. He was fouled, spinning to the bucket with 42.1 to play. Fouled by Jemai Meshack, his fourth. With the smaller lineup, Tennessee just didn't have anyone to guard Zach Eady. Meshack at 6'4 was trying to guard the 7'4 Eady, and Meshack had to give the foul to save the layup. Two foul shots for Eady. Foul line left. 
He'll shoot the first one. He'll miss it long. The door stays open for the Volunteers with 42.1 to play. The key now for Purdue is just keep guarding on the defensive end and guard that three-point line. Yes. Edie Jones has done an unbelievable job on Dalton Connect through the last couple possessions. One more for Edie. That one is an air ball. An air ball for Zach Edie. The ball to Tennessee with 42.1 to play. Edie looks at Mason Gillis, and I can read his lips. He said, I'm good. I'm good. Tennessee with a puncher's chance. They've been punching all game long. One stop away here for Purdue. 40 seconds to go. Ziegler to connect. Connect tiptoeing on a midcourt stripe. Driving. Blocked by Edie. Picked up by Gillis. Into the hands of Braden Smith. Purdue trying to kill some time. Purdue's got to get it over half court. They do by throwing it to Gillis. To Lawyer. They have to foul. Mayshack fouls with 21 seconds to go in the game. Mayshack has fouled out of the game. Fletcher Lawyer will be going to the free throw line. Purdue 69, Tennessee 64 with 21.9 remaining. And just unbelievable play by Zach Eady. He misses two free throws, even air balls the second one. You think could be feeling down about himself. You said it. Mason was talking to him, trying to keep him in the game. He makes the play of the game, blocking the shot of All-American Dalton Connect at the rim. Gillis snatches the rebound. Purdue breaks the pressure. And Fletcher Lawyer, two shots. Makes the first. 13 in the game for Lawyer. Purdue 70, Tennessee 64. This game is not over. Not the way Tennessee can shoot that ball from the three-point line. The way they've been shooting it certainly tonight. The second one good. Purdue 71, Tennessee 64. 26, 20 seconds. 20 seconds to go. Connect. Will drive. He'll take a layup. 15.6. Timeout, Tennessee. Rick Barnes immediately takes his final timeout. Again, Connect, a very smart player. He knows Purdue doesn't want to foul. So he just goes unabated right down the middle of the paint for a left-handed layup to make it Purdue 71, Tennessee 66. Uh, Purdue 71, Tennessee 67. The final score of the game in Maui. How about that? We have 15.6 still remaining. Or 71-66. They just changed the score on, on okay, you Okay, and I'm, I'm sorry, fans. I have on my scorecard 71-66, but the scoreboard in the building had 71-67. Yeah. I should have trusted myself. They tricked you. But, yeah, five-point lead here. So, once again, breaking the press is the key. But uh, if you can get fouled and get to the line and make two free throws, a three-possession game with 15 seconds left is pretty much curtains at that point for the Vols. This outstanding crowd. Unbelievable. This afternoon for both Purdue and Tennessee, they have been on their feet for the final 10 minutes of this game. The fans have been outstanding for both institutions. The play on the court has been top-notch. The first team All-Americans for each team, Edie and Connect, have been dynamite. This is what an Elite Eight game is supposed to look like. Purdue, 71. Tennessee, 66. 15.6 to play. Tennessee is out of timeouts. The possession arrow favors Purdue, but Purdue will need to get the ball inbounded here. Baseline right. And then we just got a great shot on TV. I saw across the way. Maggie Painter, Coach Painter's daughter, on a close-up of her in tears almost. She's fighting him back as Purdue is this close to a Final Four berth. Not over yet. 15.6 remaining. Purdue throws the ball along the baseline, out of bounds. They like this play. They run it a bunch. Lob it into Edie. Edie fouled immediately by Estrella. That's the play where you can throw the ball. As long as you can run out of bounds on the baseline, you can throw the ball amongst teammates along the out-of-bounds line as well. And that's what Purdue did to throw it into Edie eventually, who caught it underneath the basket. Now we take the long walk right to left with 14.8 remaining. 14.8. Purdue 71, Tennessee 66. Well, you'd absolutely love two made free throws here by Zach, of course, but just one would be big. First foul shot on the way. There it is, Bob. There it is, Bob. There it is, Bob. 72-66. Zach Eady has scored 40 points. A career high. He also has 16 rebounds. His second foul shot is no good. Left it short. Tennessee with a chance. 12 to go in the game. Now 11. 
Ziegler, a three from the deep left wing is short. Rebounded by Fletcher Lawyer. Tennessee will not foul. And wouldn't you know it, on Resurrection Sunday, the Purdue Boilermakers have turned the doubters into believers. Believe this. For the first time since 1980, Purdue is headed back to the Final Four. We did it, baby. Final Four. Your Purdue Boilermakers, how sweet it is. What a time to be a Purdue Boilermaker. Mason Gillis runs to half court to shake the hand of Rick Barnes, the Hall of Fame head coach of Tennessee. Dalton Connect was as good as advertised today for the Volunteers. Zach Eady was as good as advertised for the Purdue Boilermakers. Purdue beats Tennessee and advances to the Final Four for the first time since 1980. We have a whole lot to talk about in the post-game show, so let's take a quick timeout. Purdue fans, book your flights for Arizona. We're headed to the Final Four. This is Boilermaker Basketball on the Purdue Global Sports Network from Learfield. Hey, Purdue fans. Say hello to the most powerful gallon in agriculture from BW Fusion and say goodbye to traditional crop nutrition. 